Hello? Without a webcam. Hello. I'm here for some Rita Lacerda's gallerist. But we can't see me. We can see the game, though. Marty's getting into position. The camera is not available. You can see this one, right, though? You can see all of the game. Hi, everyone. Hi, Monica. Hi, Moran. I'm Serbia. I'm Bidless. Big Lacerda fan, too. He got all of these things ready, but not the microphone that would have himself on it. There it is. Hello. How's it going? Let's get this microphone out of the way. That's looking okay. How's Marty looking? He's wondering whether to get into position or not. He might follow Rach downstairs. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have a Marty cam today. Rach is home because it's all, uh, all Easter and stuff in it. So... He may not stay in Marty Cam position. He's wondering. He'll have to open the door, though, if he wants to leave. And who wants to do that? Hi, everyone. We're here now. I'll, I'll trim it to start at this point, eh? Hi, everyone. This is the start of the live stream. Trust me. I'm playing the gallerist today. The solo version. I did a video for this. It's about four and a half years ago now. And it was about... Where's my sheet? If you can see this focused in on the camera enough, but I've got my old solo sheet that someone made on uh, Board Game Geek, along with all of the other various things that I've printed off with my crazy run of, uh, of solo games of it. I played this incessantly for about uh, two weeks when I first got it, just over and over again. It's, it's quite easy to just keep setting up again, as I found where I've played, I was tempted to play it again last night, but I played a game uh, yesterday uh, yesterday uh, evening to kind of brush up on the skills that I thought I had at this. But I, I, I didn't get a rank in this. There is a bit of a risk. Hi, Daniel. Well, I make Master Gallerist. There's a bit of a risk in trying to shoot for the highest goal, as there is a bit in the goals in, uh, in Kanban EV, playthrough went up recently, uh, where if you don't make it to the, you know, the upper echelons of Master Gallerist, there's a good chance that you've messed it up and will not get any rank if you haven't made, uh, made sure of certain things. So we'll try and make sure that that happens today. Get all of the chat up on my screen. What's going on over here? You come up. I was trying to get like a digital version of a score sheet up, but haven't quite made that happen. We've got paper ones and everything for the end of the game. We can make it through and try and do our best in here. Hear that noise? I hope that noise isn't coming through here. We've got a... We've got noise issues around the outside of the house. It's a sunny day, isn't it? People love uh, jet washing things. I like jet washing things too, but, you know, why, why aren't they all rushing inside to see the, the gallerist stream? So, if you are completely new to the gallerist, I will go through what I'm doing. I'll explain all of the actions and things. We've got a lovely player aid that'll help us do all of that. Basically, you're trying to run an art gallery. You'll be discovering new artists and getting art from them. You will be trying to promote them to make them more famous so that art is worth more money. You'll be getting contracts from people who want to buy that art and you can get bonuses and things from those. And you will be trying to sell that art as well for a lot more than you bought it for. And also, we have these markets over here. We have the international markets where if we are experienced in certain kinds of art, we can go here and get these reputation tiles that will reward us with points at the end of the game. And they go on our... Switch to the other camera. That seems to be working. Uh, they will go on our player boards in different places and give us bonuses as well. We'll be getting tickets to attract new people into the gallery. That's a bit of a timer for the game. Just all sorts of beautiful Vital Lacerda art-related stuff. So this is... Near the top of the lizard, I think Kanban is still my favourite, but in terms of solo, I think the Gallerist still has it. It's just for kind of... It's still a meaty game. It still takes me about... Probably about 90 minutes to play the game last night. I was kind of making sure that I got all the rules down and trying to work out how I'm going to do this best. But yeah, I think you can get it down to about an hour once you've been playing it <laughs> incessantly as I was. 
So, we are pretty much set up. The only thing that we need to do is choose where we're going to start. Choose our first action. There are four worker placement spots on the board. So, and each one gives you an option of two main actions. So, simple, right? Like, like all Vita Lacerda games, as, as Vita Lacerda would tell you, uh, like Liz Bower, is just play a card, do what it says on it. More to it than that, of course, though, isn't there? So the gallerist is just place a worker, do the stuff there. This is the it's it's the deluxe gallerist like all of the Eagle Griffin games that they've gone back and reprinted since. I think this was the first collaboration of um, Vital Asserta Eagle Griffin games. Ian O'Toole doing the art for it and some of the art on the I think it's the 3D sculptures have uh, have been done by Ian O'Toole in this. So the the start of that collaboration and then after that. They went on to do, I think it was the Vinos Deluxe Edition after that, and then Liz Boa and uh, Escape Plan on Mars Kanban EV. And then they're gearing up for Weather Machine some point in the future. I'll wait for another great big Vita Lacerda game. Gotten close to Master Gallerist before, but yeah, getting, getting the 35 money from the Curator and Dealer Girls is, a, is one of the conditions for Master Gallerist. So should we, can I get my solo score sheet, maybe on the other camera? I want to see what we're shooting for first. Put this in the way here. This, uh, this solo score sheet's got a nice little table here that tells you what you need to do to get the three ranks of the game. So to be considered a win in the gallerist, you have to have gotten to one of these rankings. So to be an apprentice, we need to have satisfied at least one goal on our curator and art dealer cards. These are cards that we get randomly dealt at the start of the game. The curator wants you to have certain pieces in your gallery at the end of the game. Now there are only four, you can have four, maybe five to push pieces of art at the end of the game, so you won't be able to do both of these. Uh, but that's what he wants you to have. Well, I suppose you could have, no, no, I think you can only do one. So he wants you to have either th these three or four pieces of art, and you will get 10 or 15 coins at the end of the game. Money is points, for all intents and purposes in this. The art dealer wants you to have sold particular types of art by the end of the game, and you'll get these bonus points if you have sold these combinations of them. So to do Apprentice, we need to have satisfied one condition on one card and one on another, at least. Reputation tiles, we will earn from, you know, the, the markets. Where's my market button? Get used to all this. We'll use the, these reputation tiles. We'll start with one on our boards that we can gain as well. To be considered for that first ranking, we need to have gotten four of those. And our artists, once they are discovered, we start with one artist discovered, one blue artist. They're kind of junior and senior artists. Uh, you start with the first blue one that you dealt is discovered. We can discover more during the game, but this one is ready here. And they all have a fame track on them. If your artist has made it all the way up to the fame track to this star here, which you'll get through buying their art and by promoting them, and some of the bonuses as well, if they get them all the way up to the star, they are a they they're a celebrity now. They don't make any more art. Uh, if you still got, the, they might for you. There's there's a bit of a condition that you'll get them to do a piece for you if you have one of their tokens. But their their paintings are worth a fortune. Uh, you get some bonus for making them a celebrity, and any art you have from them still is now considered a masterpiece. So to meet the condition of The Apprentice, we need to have at least one masterpiece. And then in terms of money, so total points at the end of the game, we need at least 160. To get to experienced, we have to have done the best thing on the curator. So these four pieces here in our gallery and then at least one thing on the art dealer card. We need to have five of those reputation tiles, have had two masterpieces and 180 money at the end of the game. And then what we'll shoot for, but I don't know if we'll get, 35 money total from these two cards. So it's up to you what combination you want these things to be in. But I would kind of think, after failing, and I've failed before as well in those first runs, these aren't the only times I've played the game, but. I didn't use this solo for a sheet at the time since then. Uh, I was kind of thinking, to get that 35, you probably want to try and make sure that you do this bottom curator goal rather than the top one, because if you fail in some other category, at least you will be maybe eligible for the, the one lower down, the experienced or something like that, rather than, as I did yesterday, 
not managed to get the curator goal, bought the wrong piece of art, didn't need any curator goals, and so got no rank whatsoever. I just messed up there. So you can get 35 from the bottom one of there and the bottom two of the art dealer card, maybe. 35 money total from those. Five reputation tiles still. Three masterpieces. And it doesn't matter what your score is. Although you want that as high as possible, of course. You can see, like, in this big run of things, if you can see the pencil, you can kind of see it. Uh, I did get Master Gallerist a few times, according to this. And there was a time where I didn't get any rank at all. Uh, but there is my attempt in the blue pen there. There's my attempt last night. Not a great score compared to all of these. Was trying to go for Master and ended up with absolutely nothing. So that's what we are trying to do here. And we'll see how we go about it in this. Uh, the Galaxy is a great big game. It's the same as all of those other deluxe editions. You know, great big, uh, great big box and great big board. But plenty to go on it as well. It's the start of the, you know, the ENO tool design. It's still beautifully you know, thematic and fits in very, very well. But full of, you know, player aid things, full of tool tips all over the place are reminding you of what you need to be doing. And we get, as all of the deluxe editions have got, a fantastic player aid that tells you what all the resources are, why you need them, how you get them, all the other icons to help you uh, work things out. But on the other side, step by step of how you do each of the actions to make sure you don't miss anything out and everything you need to know basically on there. Let's get to it, right? That's enough chat. Although not, not I mean from me, not from you. Feel free to chat away. I know all the things about the gallerist. Yeah, you need to sell four and have four at the end. And you have to try and be efficient with your action. So, let's see. We have the four spaces available. Now, something I tend to, maybe it's stuck in a rut, but something I tend to do at the start of the game is start over here, either discovering an artist or buying a piece of art. Because wherever you start on the board, go in the white space, it's going to determine... A bonus that you get at the start, you get a reputation tile. You don't get the benefit of it just yet, but it's going to go in your gallery. Uh, this one over here, if we can zoom in just on here a bit, we can, almost can. Uh, this reputation tile will give me some influence and some points at the end of the game for every painting that I've got, every classic style painting. And if we look at my goals, if my plan is to do 15 from here and 20 from here to meet that 35, I'm only ever going to get one painting. I don't need to have sold one. I only need to have one in my gallery at the end of the game. That's not really a great one for getting me points. But the reason I want to start here is, as soon as you've placed and done your first action, Lacerda, the rival gallerist that you're playing against, will get placed in the spot opposite yours. All the other tiles don't matter, the ones you don't take. And from then on, he takes a turn after you. All Lacerda will ever do is move to the next space clockwise, and he will leave behind one of his assistants in the space that he left. I can also do that. When you leave a space, if you've got one available and you want to, you can put an assistant out onto the board. And then if Lacerda comes into it, you get a kicked out action that are vital in the game. They can be really useful um, executive actions, letting you spend tickets to get people into your gallery, letting you use the bonuses on the cards that you've gotten. But also, if you have the influence to spend, you can use a kicked out action to take one of the main actions in the place that you just got kicked out from. So it can be massively important to double up on all of your actions leaving assistants behind and getting them kicked out too. And so you aren't really playing against, it isn't an AI opponent or anything like that. You know that all he is going to do is go in clockwise order every single turn, leaving an assistant behind and kicking out you or your assistant when he goes around. There is a little bit more to it if you kick out him or his assistant from the international markets here a bit more to it than that he does compete with you in there there's some markets where we get the reputation tiles there's an auction where we get some bonuses but also we are trying to win the auction for this international uh, this art of uh, international renown 
that was randomly dealt at the start of the game. It's a it's a photograph, which will fit in to our curator bonus. We need a photograph at the end of the game. If you win that auction, that piece of art comes into your gallery. Help us with that uh, goal. One of the blinds has slipped and there's a bit of sunlight coming through. It'll be okay though, won't it? We'll live. So yeah, we need to decide where to start. This goal, I don't think is going to really help me get many points, but you don't particularly need a load of points if we're going for Master Gallerist. Others would be better, but the reason I want him to start there is because he doesn't take an action the first time he gets put down. And so this is the longest possible time before he comes back to the market and starts putting his meeples in there and taking things away from me. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Other bonuses would be better. Influence and money for every reputation tile that you got, and we want at least five of them at the end. For every assistant that you got, we do start off with two assistants, but there are plenty more to hire over the course of the game. And here is a money for every three influence that you've got. We start the game with 10 influence, but we can go all the way up to 35 by earning it throughout the game and getting it from our reputation tiles at the end of the game. I really love trying to get as much influence as possible and racing up this thing. We'll see it as we go along, but I mentioned influence you use to take bonus action. You can also use it to raise the fame of artists, and you can use it as money, basically. See, there's, there's money printed on this influence track. Say I'm here now and I buy something for five money, I can move my influence marker down to the next coin to get one money off. I could move it to another coin to get two money off. Now you see that's you're losing quite a bit of influence doing that, but if you get closer to the top of this track, every single space has a coin on it. So you can drop down influence like nobody's business and get like a 10 discount of stuff. It's really good if you can get up there, but we'll see how we do with that. So I think even though I don't particularly want this reputation tile, I am gonna start with it. Pop it onto my player board in this space here, I'm going to gain this reputation tile as soon as I get three pieces of art in my gallery. I can only have four pieces of art in my gallery if one of them is a masterpiece. That's what the masterpiece symbol is there for. So we won't get to that for a while, will we? Let's see what we can do there. So, um, one and only other city game is On Mars. On Mars is, yeah, definitely, the, I would say, the most complex as well. I would agree with Daniel. Gallerist is, I think Gallerist is, yeah, before es escape plan now is the simplest one to learn, I think. Gallerist is next straightforward for me, definitely. But I would say as well that uh, Rach, uh, who I play pretty much everything with, uh, has found the Gallerist to be really, it, it just doesn't click for for some reason. Whereas Kanban, that I would say is much more complex, just... For some reason, the, the production line structure of it and stuff just flows for and just clicked instantly. So yeah, your mileage may vary on all of that. I have Dragon... I haven't played Dragon Keep, actually. CO2 is a fantastic one, though. I love that. I did like the old competitive uh, CO2, but CO2 Second Chance, where the whole game has been made cooperative. Oh, and On Mars is getting a cooperative expansion at some point in the future, too, isn't it? So I'm coming here. And from the, look at my player aid here, I've come to the artist's colony. And so I have two options here. I can discover a new artist or I can buy a piece of art. So buying a new piece of art, all I would have the choice from at the moment is this photographer over here. We zoom in on her because she's the only person that's been discovered. All of these artists here, they might be making stuff in the background, but we can't buy it yet until they have been discovered. I could buy a piece of art from her. The art that any artist makes is just the top one of the stack. It'll give you different bonuses. It will increase the fame of the artist. It'll get you some tickets. Tickets are used to attract various patrons into your gallery. And it has a type. That was just for, for shuffling them in the right types. And it puts more... Meeples out into the, the plaza as well in the middle. So not into anyone's gallery, but then they will be available to come into your gallery. If I discovered an artist, on the other hand, it doesn't 
get you, you know, a, a thing to be able to sell, but it can get you, it makes a new type of artist available, and so a new type of art available to buy. And it will also get you a bonus. You see these bonuses on here? The, the more experienced red artists will put a white meeple, a collector, I believe, into the plaza. They are great. They are kind of wild for a lot of bonuses, and they are great at increasing the fame of artists as well. There's a limit to how many you can have in your gallery, though. So it brings more collectors into the game. It gets you a bonus based on what's on this tile here. And yeah, it brings an artist into the game. So I could you know, just discover an artist and as a bonus, start to get people straight into my gallery. I do like that. Yeah, yeah, the sculptor, Daniel is agreeing. The, the sculptor over here, either of the sculptors actually have come out with the same bonus. I do want, if we look at my goals, if I'm going for these bottom ones, I want two in my gallery at the end of the game, and I want to have sold one, so it's probably a good idea to start working on the type of art that I want the most. And since we aren't that well off early on in the game, maybe I want to discover the, the more new uh, sculptor. So, to discover a new artist, let's get the player aid up on the screen, especially while I haven't got much on my player board, to make sure I'm doing all of the steps here. So flip that artist tile and mark their initial fame. So this is going to be on uh, art two, isn't it? I'm discovering this sculptor. So we need to flip their tile over and get a cube to mark their initial fame. It tells me where their initial fame is going to be. It also tells you on the back as well. So you can work out, you know, just how famous. Because there's, there's two artists of each type, I believe, called red and blue. Some are really, really inexperienced to start with, but that art is a bargain. Some come in uh, with a bit more experience. Some, you know, their, their art costs 10 to begin with, and they're a, they're a three-star artist. For us, we are starting with a very inexperienced sculptor, but it's going to be the one to watch later on in the art world. I can see it coming. So we have flipped the artist tile and marked the initial fame, gained the benefit from the artist bonus tile. Well, that is this tile here. So this bonus is grab a meeple from the plaza. If they're not in the plaza, you can grab them from the bag and they go straight into your gallery. Usually there is a process of you know, spending tickets to move them a space each at a time. You can move from your uh, lobby into your gallery where they start giving you their benefits. You can move them from the plaza to your lobby and you can also move them from other players' lobbies into the plaza. So you can take away from other people if they're in the lobby, though. Once they're in the gallery, they're safe. But this bonus lets me bring one straight into my gallery. And so the, the, the end effect of it all is that the pink meeples are great for giving you more influence. The brown, better for giving you more money. The white, a bit of both, not as effective at either, but are better for increasing the fame of an artist as well. And we can see on my gallery here, we've got a little reminder. Hi, Christoph. We've got a reminder here that we can only have one collector plus the number of pieces of art that we've sold. So at the start of the game, that means we can have one collector in our gallery. So I am tempted to put them in there. I'm also tempted if I want to try and get a load of influence to put a pink one in there instead. Because I do have a white one in my lobby. I would only need one ticket to get him into the gallery. So what would I like to do? And as we start to increase them, we could get a collector in. I think, yeah, I'm going to go for an influencer. I can't remember all of the, the different names. They're all the, they're all VIP. Oh yeah, VIP or investor. So VIP have got the money. Investors uh, have got the influence. That must be the wrong way around. Either way, they're in my gallery now. And that's my bonus. And then back onto my player board. Have I done all the things? Place signature token on the commission space of your player board. Well, the signature token is underneath every artist you know, to, to show you that this piece of art is theirs. And because I've discovered this artist, I get their commission token. It goes in this space on my player board. 
This means that I can't discover a new artist until I have bought a piece of art from this artist. I can't just go around discovering them all and hoovering up all of these bonuses just in one great big go. But the benefit that it gives me is that if I was to buy a piece of art from this sculptor, even if they've gotten more famous, even if they've gotten to the point of being a celebrity where you couldn't buy art from them, or they've gotten really famous and their art now costs 15 money, I can buy one piece of art from them at their starting value of three. So that is a great benefit. I'm probably not going to be able to let it get too far out of the way, but it means I could now go and promote that artist, get them worth a bit more money, buy art for cheap, and it would be worth more when I sold it. So that is the whole action. This bonus just goes out of the game now. I'm doing great, Christoph. How are you? It's a lovely sunny day here. Perfect kind of day for playing some Vital Lacerda games. And having a lovely cup of tea. Remembering you have a cup of tea while it's still warm. That is a good day. So I have taken my action now. I have come here. I've done all of the steps. We move on to Lacerda's turn. He just gets placed here now, and all of these other reputation tiles don't need to be here. I'll still add him on there from the example. He would still be off the board or hanging out in his gallery. Now he comes onto the board. He never takes actions, apart from he gets to do things at the moment. There is a cost as well that we will get to for kicking him out of a place, so going where his meeple is, or kicking out one of his assistants. You need to discard tickets that are vital as well. You want tickets because they get more people into your gallery. But when the tickets run out, the game ends. There are normally more conditions for the game ending in a multiplayer game. The condition of the solo game is, as soon as the round where all of the tickets run out, the game ends, I get one more action somewhere else. I can't stay where I am. You can never take the same action twice in a row on your turns anyway. You maybe can if uh, you get kicked out action. So straight away, it's back to my turn. I can't have an action again at the artist's colony. But I can think about coming down here to the media center. I could promote the sculptor I've just discovered. It would cost me an influence. They would get a bit more famous. I would get myself a ticket. I can come here and hire new assistants. If we look at my player board. You have to start from the top here. Oh, that sun is, is messing up with the brightness of this camera. Uh, you start off quite cheap and get progressively more expensive as you hire more assistants, but they can get you bonuses of tickets and then later influence and money. You can only have as many assistants as you have desks for, so at the most four, but they will go out onto the board and into the markets and auction and stuff, so there will be more space for them. But if you ever need to bring them home and there isn't space for them, you will lose that assistant, they go back to the game box, so you have to bear that in mind. I can hire new assistants. I don't think right away I want to come over and be messing about with the markets or the auction just yet. I don't think, anyway. Over up here at the sales office, I could grab myself a contract to be able to sell a piece of art. Now, there isn't one for a sculpture yet, but I, I can draw four more and hope there will be. This will give me a potential bonus that I could perform. By placing an assistant on a card, I could get one of these bonuses. Can we zoom in on those contracts? Yeah. So getting more people straight into my gallery, getting another contract, getting some money based on the VIPs in my gallery, another contract for various pieces of art. That's something that I can do when I get kicked out. And the other option is to sell a piece of art. That's what that means. Obviously, I haven't got a piece of art. I'm not going to be doing that yet. So I would lean more towards either promoting an artist or I think maybe I'm just going to go and get a sales contract because I will get kicked straight out of where I am and be able to take some kind of kicked out action. So I think that's where I'm going to go. So I come up here. When you leave a location, you can, if you have one available, leave an assistant behind. They either come from the desks or they can come from somewhere else on the board. So you can move them around. And yes, we are coming up to the contracts. Is London very sunny as well? Yes, very, very, very sunny here in the Midlands. 
it is a very, very beautiful game. But I think, yeah, it'll be on Kickstarter again with the On Mars games. I'm, I'm sure they always do, you know, your, an option to add the other Eagle Griffin games onto the current Kickstarter. But also, I think with Kanban EV making its way into the various places, that copies of the galleries might start springing up too. Very sunny for Monica too. Except you're in Norway, right? Must just be a really, a really sunny Friday for everyone. So, what are we going to do? I would like to get a contract right off the bat for a sculpture, really. Maybe a photo, because I can buy a photograph from the artist that started out um, discovered. But, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to try and get one for a sculptor. So, right at the beginning, I have the option to draw four more cards before I choose one. I'm going to do that first. They go right on top of the other cards. Don't discard the old ones. And they're going to be revealed as you take cards away. So, I have the same bonus available for <laughs> whatever I want to do, really. Uh, so, whether it's a sculpture or a photo... The bonus I would get is hire an assistant for free, which is nice, isn't it? It saves having an action to do it, but that's better later on when your assistants cost you five, six money. At the moment, they only cost me two. Am I wanted at things? I think I'm wanted at things. Uh, there are no, there are also spam messages trying to get me to give money for packages that are being held. I don't have packages being held. One time I'm going to think that a genuine thing is a scam and not get a game. Exciting things coming up. After, after this, provided I'm not too uh, melted in this hot room, uh, I'll be doing the, the recap coming up video for next month. We can talk about all of the games that arrived. Exciting things, I think. So I think we need a lot of sculptures, don't we? A photo is a bit cheaper, but I think I'm going to go for the sculpture contract. Yeah, we need to get one of either sold. So I take that. And if we come over to my player board, I have three spots for contracts over here. Your very first contract in each space will earn you a ticket. You can either have a brown ticket here, a pink ticket here, or a Neapolitan ticket over here. Now, you have to choose one of the colours, but this is uh, your only option of getting a white ticket. Maybe I'll pop it here and grab myself a white ticket. Now, at the start of the game, find the tickets button. Should get used to where all of my buttons are for the, the gallerist shots. There are 10 of each ticket at the start of the game. And remember, it's a trigger at the end of the game. Uh, well, the trigger for the end of the game is all of the tickets running out. When one ticket completely runs out, we have intermediate scoring, where you'll get influence based on your pink and white meeples in your gallery and money based on your brown and white meeples that are in your gallery. But we are way off that yet. I am the first... This is the first ticket of the game right now but they will be coming in thick and fast, I think. We have, of course, designated spots to place our tickets. And there we go. It's all nice and neat for now, apart from this sunlight beam making its way over the boards. That's, that's what happens when you have a cat that loves to go in the window. And uh, blinds were a mistake, it turns out, I think, now. So, what is coming on? Yes, get spam emails from UPS. I'm going to spam text from Royal Mail at the moment. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the latest way of um, trying to catch people, I think. There's a really spammy YouTube comment that keeps coming up that I had to block loads of hacking Instagram accounts and stuff. It's incessant. But I've just, uh, I've just blocked certain words that are in it. Don't worry, they shouldn't catch genuine comments. Unless you're talking about those spam comments, then it might catch a genuine one. But I'll see it. Uh, so Lacerda moves around leaves one of his assistants behind in that space. So I can come here now, but I will kick out his assistant. If I ever kick out Lacerda or his assistant, we discard a ticket from the stack with the most tickets in it. So that is how tickets are going to be disappearing as the game goes on. He also gets to do an extra thing if you kick him or his meeple out of the international markets. So... He kicks me out. Normally in a multiplayer game, of course, the person would take their action and then you get to do your kicked out action. In the solo game, though, Lacerda doesn't do anything. That's kind of the beauty of it, I think. That's what I like so much that he's predictable. You can see where he's going to go. All he's going to do is knock you out or put, uh, 
assistant down so you can game him in certain ways. So I can take a kicked out action. Where have I put that player aid? <laughs> a far reach away every single time. So if we look into the, the, the sun-drenched player board camera, uh, I can take a kicked out action. I can perform one of these when I get kicked out. I can either spend influence to the next fame icon to take one of the location actions. So if I wanted to take another contract or sell a painting, I would have to move my influence marker down to the next star, basically these pink squares. So it would cost me right now to take this action again, five influence, that's a bit pricey. Whereas if I had earned myself one or spent some in some other fashion, it can cost you just one to take an extra action sometimes. And that's, that's, when, it's, that's when the gallerist is at it, its sweetest. So I don't think I'm going to do that yet, as, as lovely as an extra contract would be. The other option I have is to take an executive action. Executive actions. You can perform one before or after your location action. You can move visitors by spending tickets or use a bonus from a contract card. So oh, I, I could have spent that ticket straight away, couldn't I? And got a collector straight in my gallery. Maybe I should have done that. I retroactively just do that? Using a bonus would be nice, but I can do that now. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think let's spend this ticket right off the bat and get this collector into my gallery. I don't think, you know, in my practice game that I did so terribly at, I don't think I was taking executive actions very often. I think I was only taking them when Lacerda kicked me out. That would have made it tougher, wouldn't it? Yeah, the trouble is, if, if, you, if you've got a load of games coming in all the time, and I'll, I have uh, review copies and stuff and Kickstarters floating around all around the ether, so always got to check that, uh, is this going <laughs> to... Is, is this a genuine thing that someone is emailing me about? Hi, Joel. Is it Joel? I haven't sent you a message yet, if it is, Joel. Thank you for signing up to Patreon, which segues me nicely into if you enjoy the playthroughs I do, any of the stuff that I do, including these live ones, they're all only possible. I'm only here. Well, it's a bank holiday, so I suppose I would be home anyway, but I'm only here and filming things because of the support of uh, my patrons. Patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. It's in the screen somewhere down here. Uh, if you'd like to head over there and help me out, help me keep making things, you get to a Discord, vote on videos and stuff. It's all groovy, but it helps all of this stuff get made. Thank you, if you can and want to. So the executive action I would like to take now is the other option that you have. Use a bonus from a contract card. So I can pop my assistant down here, and then I can take the cheapest assistant for free. So all this has done has saved me one coin. So not great. I could wait to do that until they're more expensive, but also you want to get it done before you sell the art. So I think it's worth doing now. Hi, Joel. I will still send you a message, but thank you very, very much for becoming a patron. Patreon app is not great at notifying you and not great at refreshing it, I feel. So where are we? I've done a kicked out action because I got kicked out cruelly by Vital Lacerda. Uh, and so I need to choose somewhere else to be right now. I think I would love to make a nice little chain of him kicking me out of places and getting extra actions. So I think I'm going to head over to the media center because he's about to kick me out from here anyway. I can come and get a piece of art when he kicks me out. And I could go straight back there again, maybe. So I can either hire new assistants here. If I hired new assistants, I've got 10 money right now and space for three different assistants. Bearing in mind, one is about to come back when they get kicked out. So I could afford a few different assistants. If I bought three assistants right here, it would be three, five, seven money. I would get myself a brown ticket, a pink ticket, and then I would get influence for the people in my gallery. Now at the moment, there is, inside my gallery, a pink and a white. So that would be two plus one, three influence. I'm kind of calculating all of that up in my head because 
If I earn three influence right now, if Lacerda kicks me out and I want to take the location action, it only costs me three instead of five to take that bonus action. But equally, if I promote an artist and I spend some influence, now the artists that have been discovered right now don't have any number here next to their thumbs up icon. You see some have got two already printed on, one up there has got three. That has to do with these thumbs up symbols here. So if we have an artist that's got just a dash, you have to start off with a number one. So they can be promoted a lot of times. It costs you increasingly more influence and depending on the level you just got them to, it gets you a different reward. So basically, I could buy I could buy three assistants, but then I would lose one when Lacerda kicks me out. So I kind of don't want to do that. Or I could spend one influence to promote an artist here. I would still spend four when it comes to taking a kicked out action. But it's better than spending five, isn't it? If five is going to get spent anyway. Ideally, you want to earn it when you can, but I think I'm going to spend it. I'm going to promote an artist. Where's that player aid? Oh, we can put it here. Can you, is that nice and clear? Clear-ish, isn't it? Uh, so at the media center, to promote an artist, you need to pay influence. I've paid my one influence there already. Receive bonus for promotion tile. That bonus is a ticket of my choice. I would love to get another collector in my gallery. I do, I could get them in my lobby and then I would have to wait until I've sold a piece of art to get two in here. I could start working on the, the money men as well, the investors, if I wanted to make their bonuses better. And there are reputation tiles that want you to have certain meeples in your gallery too. I've just seen, I think Marty has uh, trodden on a lovely game tile and, and uh, made, a, made a mess of my beautiful gallerist game. You are welcome too, Joel. Vitel is, <laughs> I think Vitel is a nice person. But uh, his his wooden avatar in his in his solo variants, Lacerda, is uh, <laughs> yeah can be very mean. If you've seen the the Kanban EV playthrough, him and uh, Mister Tortsy, mean as can be. Uh, so I get myself a ticket. I could get myself pink for later. There will be more uh, pink meeples coming out. I could take the one that is in Lacerda's lobby right now, or I could just take brown and get some of these in there as well. You just want as many people as possible in there. I think I am going to go for white though. I think I'm going to go for that collector. Gear up for doing that in the future. Hit the mic. I do apologize. Changing mics at some point to try out a different mic that I won't hit and uh, won't be so much in the shot. There we go. Get out of the way of my hand a little bit. So the next step, I've received the bonus, get a ticket, increase the fame of the artist and adjust signature token on all player boards. Now, here is where the artist gets more famous. We'll just jump back to the promotion section once more. Over here, the artist is going to get one fame point. So he's going to move one step on their track, plus one for every collector in my gallery. That's one massive reason that you want a load of collectors. So if you come over, who am I promoting? I think it would be lovely if, um, if sculptures were made by a celebrity by the end of the game. And since I have her commission token, it would be most beneficial for me to uh, make her more famous and make her stuff worth more and more. So I think I'm going to promote um, the sculptor. So they go up one space anyway, plus one for every collector in my gallery, which uh, you can't quite see there. I have one in my gallery. They move up another step, which if I jump back in, you can see I've just gotten to the two green stars stage. Now, I know I haven't bought a piece of art yet, but when I do, uh, they're worth different amounts. So if I had bought a sculpture at, at uh, their starting fame level, it would be worth five coins to sell. But now they've moved up to the green star level. Uh, I would get eight money for selling that piece of art instead. And they get more and more famous. They, they get more famous when you buy art from them. I promote them again, they're worth more and more and more and more when I sell their pieces. And even if you've got them in your gallery at the end of the game, you get their value in points too. So it's all, it's all good. It's all worth points. 
So that is all of the steps for promoting an artist. They are done now. So we can come back to the table. Lacerda pops up, leaves an assistant behind, and kicks me out of this action. Doesn't do anything. So I can do, again, I can, I can take a kicked out action of spending tickets, which I could have done in my turn. I could have spent that green ticket, that um, white ticket, after my turn to just put him in there. There's no risk of Lacerda taking things off me. So I, I think I'm going to leave that. I haven't got any more contract actions to take on my player board. So I think we're going to have to just suck it up and pay four whole influence. It hurts to do, but I think pay four influence to... We can't discover a new artist, so we're going to have to buy some art. So do I either want a really cheap photograph, but since I've got the contract to sell a sculpture... And I've got the commission token to buy one for cheap. I think we should buy a sculpture. So it's going to cost three money. I start off with ten. So we need uh, seven back. Where's the fives? There we go. Lovely. You can kind of you can't really see it drowned in coins, but it's one of my lovely uh, lovely dice trays from Nice That on Etsy. Annabelle is, is on uh, is on holiday on Etsy at the moment though. Looking forward to her getting back because uh, I would like more. Just uh, lovely standing up dice bags as well. So, I'm buying a piece of art from the sculptor. What do we need to do when we're buying a piece of art? We need to pay the cost of the artwork. I've just done that. Send visitors on the artwork tile to the plaza. There is a solitary brown meeple going into the plaza now. Then, increase the fame of the artist. The art tells us how much their fame goes up by. Nothing plus one for the collectors in your gallery. So just one step for now. Whenever their fame goes up, by the way, you can choose to jump down to the next fame level. So just the same amount as when you pay to take an extra main action. You can jump all that way down to move them up an extra step fame. But I'm not going to do that. It would cost me all of my influence. And, you know, there are ways around that. So I could have gotten a two discount here. One two and then i would have one influence left which i could then spend to increase their fame or take another action in future maybe that's worth doing i wouldn't be able i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to promote or something when i got kicked out by lacerda but i could hire some new assistants for getting kicked out that could be a good idea actually why don't i get a two discount so i only spent one on this art i also get tickets that's probably going to be the next step isn't it uh, receive tickets printed on the work. There is a brown ticket on the work, so I grab one of those and pop it on my player board. And then afterwards, flip the tile to the gallery side and place it on your player board, in your gallery. Sunlight drifting across the gallery now. And uh, yeah, yeah, it is fun to make the AI into a person, especially that it's Lacerda. When you can beat Lacerda at his own game, then it is great. The Rode Wireless Go 2. I think I've been looking at the, the Wireless Go as a system, not necessarily for the, the microphone that comes with it, but it would be lovely to, if I was going to have a mic clip to me again, it would be great if it was wireless, so when I forget, inevitably, and stand up, I don't yank the computer away with me. Uh, so, is that all of the steps? Look back at the table. Put it on your playboard, track the value of the work with the signature token. Signature token I had as the commission now goes at the fame level they're at, which is two green stars. So I can remember sculpture is worth eight money and will increase as that goes up. Then, about the value of the work with signature token, place visitors on newly revealed artwork. Fortunately, I've put a load of stuff over the lovely bag, which is lovely and velvety, but um, maybe, maybe it's just very dusty here. Maybe it's because we've got a cat. Yeah, it, it attracts a lot of bits. There are two tickets on the back of this piece of art. It means we draw two visitors onto that art tile. Oh, I should say, by the way, that in case you spot some different kinds of uh, art pieces on here, like this one, I do have a promo pack mixed in, 
where there are some artists that give you no tickets and will have no meeples on them, but increase the fame a lot. And some that give you, um, I think, don't, don't increase the fame, but give you loads of tickets, I think, as well. There's, there's some different variables. There is also a scoring expansion that comes with all new versions of the Gallerist that I would love to get a hold of. If he can get it on its own, please let me know, or you can print it out or something. It changes, I think, the intermediate scoring every game rather than just being this. I would just love more ways of playing the Gallerist. I have gotten... Sorry for the diversion, but it's still a diversion into Vital the Surda things. I just got um, this promo, the Queen Card promo for Lisboa that I'm looking forward to trying out. Especially since I haven't played Lisboa for ages. So we just keep these uh, live streams going of um, Vital the Surda things. Then we'll inevitably get back to Lisboa and crash and burn there as well. So I've bought a piece of art as a kicked out action. This assistant goes home to his desk. And that's Lacerda's turn. It's back to me to decide what I'm doing. So I could kick him straight back out and buy some more art. I have got a ton of money. I could buy another sculpture. It's still cheap offer. It's still six money. I would increase her fame by two places. One plus one for the collectors. I would get two more tickets and she would get to the three green star level when I sell the piece of art. It would be worth 11 instead of eight when I sell it. I could just go straight over and sell the artwork. Hmm. But a benefit of kicking Lacerda out is that when he moves, he can't leave an assistant behind. You do still lose a ticket for kicking him out. But that is a benefit that you have. Now I could buy a photo instead. Increase that artist a bit. I do need to sell a photo. Hmm. What should I do? If I buy a photo, then... Uh, hi, Michael. Any fans of modern art here? I haven't, I haven't played modern art. I, I think I started to play a game of modern art at one of um, Paul Grogan's gatherings, and it got cancelled. I think that was modern art. So if I bought a photo, it would only be one. And oh, we only think in terms of um, board games. We, we don't think in, tiles of, in terms of uh, styles of art. Everything uh, relates back to a board game, right? Him, you've played his Pigment and Parks. Oh, yeah, Park, Parks has been mentioned to me in my uh, 2019 video. I might have missed out on that. What have I got? Oh, Eternal Palace recently. So just a prototype for now, but hopefully I have the real thing at some point. Bob Ross Art of Chill, it's a good artwork game. Uh, and Fresco is all about painting a beautiful uh, fresco in a cathedral as well. Great game. Must have some more artwork. What are some that I'm not thinking of? Uh, so yeah, if I bought a photo, it would be really cheap. And then when Lacerda kicks me out, I could buy some assistance. Because I won't have any influence to be able to promote anybody. If I bought another sculpture it would cost me six because I don't have influence to be able to take a main action and buy things to, to get discounts basically so it would cost me six of my nine I would have three money left which means I would only be able to hire one assistant so I think a good move here is go leaving my assistant behind knock Lacerda out which means I have to lose a ticket. Now, being right above isn't great for this, is it? But you have to look at which ticket stack has the most. I like to just shove them together and uh, compare. Pink. I don't think uh, any pink tickets have been taken at all yet. So this gets discarded from the game. And um, yes, that, that's what happens when I kick him out. So buying the photo, we've just had this whole process, haven't we? Pay for the art. So that's going to be one money out of my nine. Then make sure I'm not skipping any steps or missing any of them out. Send visitors on the artwork tile to the plaza. So I've got some pinks that I really want into my, um, into my gallery. Increase the fame of the artist. Two plus one for every collector. So that's three steps, actually. I am very tempted to move it up. But I want to be able to have executive action, basically. So I'm not going to do it yet. It would be lovely just to go one more step, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be worth two green stars straight away from nothing. 
uh, but I'm not going to do it. Send visitors on there, increase the fame, receive tickets. I have two different tickets. Well, I've got one brown, so I think I'm going to take another brown ticket so I can get an investor straight into my gallery. And then let's start working on the, the pinks, the, the influencers, and get them in there. So I've got my tickets, flip tile to gallery side and put on your player board. So we can see a lovely variety in the Slicker Drips gallery. You can go see uh, some, a lovely sculpture there and uh, a, lovely, a lovely photo from, from some up-and-comers over here. And then track the value of the work. So I need to grab a new signature token. And that is one green star. So that photo is worth five at the moment. Not bad. It cost me one. And then place visitors on the newly revealed tile. Grab my bag. So that's just going to have one on it. It's got one pink ticket on the back. The investor might come out. I'm not using influence for any additional things. I think as an executive action after my location action, I think I would like to move visitors by spending tickets. I am going to... Can't quite see what I've got here. I've got two brown tickets, so I'm going to spend those to bring the investors straight into my gallery. And then I might as well just spend the others, hadn't I? Might as well. Let's, I can put them in my lobby, because the limit for collectors only applies to your gallery, not just your lobby. They're one step closer, aren't they? For the future. You can just build them up, of course. You can have as many tickets as you want on your player board. Uh, what other photo games have we got? Can I go? I don't think I've played that. Uh, Canvas. Canvas I've seen a lot of talk about because I think that's uh, only just made it to the UK so far with its uh, Kickstarter delivery. Not through fault of the game, but I think the UK is walling itself off to the rest of the world. Yeah, I would, uh, it, it looks very nice. It's got like transparent cards, hasn't it? Yeah, it is, the game art is great. Hi, Jacob. It does look great. So, what did I do? I bought a piece of art. That was my main action. Lacerda moves out. What? I can't put an assistant down there? He kicks my assistant out. And the plan was, I believe, to spend my one influence to go and hire some assistant. So this one will come home. So I can only hire two, actually. I've got loads of money, but I don't want to lose assistant. So... When I come over to my player board, I can only hire the top two. That is a brown and a pink ticket, so not too bad. So I grab those, pick a brown. Great, because it's more tickets to get more people into my thing. But just like when I'm kicking out Lacerda, that's more tickets that aren't in the supply anymore and are hurtling me towards the, the end of the game. We've got plenty left now, don't worry about that. Uh, but there we go. I've got two more assistants to be playing with, which is great because I can out, I can put more contract cards, I can be leaving more behind in the market at the auction. Speaking of the market and the auction, I'm going to pop a meeple behind, and I think we should start putting some people out here. I think that would be good. So I could take an executive action before my main action, try and get some more people in my gallery. Oh, I haven't spent the money for those uh, assistants. Spend the four money. So I've got four money right now. Because things you can be thinking about doing are... I'm coming over here, basically. I think I'm going to be able to get a, a double go of... Um, of coming to these markets, which will cut down on the assistance I've just made available for myself. But I think it will be okay. So I, I want to come here, basically. I am going to kick him out, which means the highest stack has got white in it, so I discard a white ticket. And after I go, he's going to get to place a meeple in the international markets or the auction. He alternates. First one in the market, second one in the auction. Keeps alternating. His first one is going to go there, basically. You can go to a row in the market. Can we zoom in on here? You can go to a row in the market if you have, at some point, owned an art of that type. So at the moment, I could go to either of these rows. 
The different columns relate to the influence you'll earn. The middle column is only in a three or four player game, so don't worry about that. The influence you'll earn and the visitors that you need to send from your gallery back out to your lobby. So, I could do that, but there is also the auction down here. Now, going to the auction will still earn you influence, but you don't have to send people out from your gallery to your lobby. It does cost you money, one, three, or six, depending on the row that you want to go on. It will get you a variety of bonuses, depending on where you go. And it is an auction. The person who has spent the most money in the auction at the end of the game will get this international work of mystery. <laughs> we'll get this thing, which is kind of crucial to you getting as many pieces of art that you need. Can you compare Solo with Kanban EV? Well, the Solo for Kanban EV is by David Tortsey, you know, of, of Anachrony and all of his uh, million games. David Tortsey is in almost every game these days, isn't he? Uh, so it is, I think, the first one, the first, the first of these deluxe editions, at least, where the solo version isn't from Vital himself. There was a Kanban solo by uh, a BGG user, the Dalebot, before, so you could still play it solo. So this is more along the lines of David's other solo things. He played something like Tekenyu, or he's one for Snowdonia Master Set, a million that I can't think of right now, where it's like a card system where you can kind of, you get some limited information of what the AIs might do, the departments they might go to. They have a set way of going about things. And every time they earn points in Kanban, you lose points. So you have to be aware of that because you can get sacked. Well, anything for the playthrough, maybe I did. Uh, so there's, there's that pressure on you as well. You can, of course, keep playing on if you're just not, not good at it like I'm not yet. Uh, so there's, there's all that to, to be bearing in mind. It is a fantastic solo variant, but there is, as with all of these kind of AI players, you've got to get used to the steps of what they do on their turns. There's some upkeep, there's some things to think about, but you are playing against an AI opponent, so that might be better for you in there. Whereas in the gallerist, you can see here, all Lacerda does is just pace around this board, one space at a time, leaving behind an assistant and maybe kicking out you or one of your assistants he will we'll see in a minute he does put meeples out into this so he does uh, tighten all of this up and make you need to race for certain things but no upkeep nothing to learn about him at all and even though you do have that advanced information and i think the the gallery the kanban ev solo version is fantastic you can see my big video about the the gallerist the the kanban ev solo stuff that I just did. While I think that is still a fantastic solo variant, there is something about the kind of simplicity and being able to manipulate Lacerda into doing things beneficial for you that I really love about the gallerist and it's just fantastic, even though I do kind of like Kanban more in general. Uh, so yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a lot a lot simpler, a lot less upkeep, and you are not playing against an opponent really. He isn't competing with you in score or making you lose points. At best, he is forcing the end of the game. He is trying to rush you through the game, and he is competing for the auction for this piece of art, and he is competing in the markets for majority in these columns and to take the reputation tiles away from you, which I need five of these by the end of the game if I want to meet the goal. Uh, the, the gallerist is out of print. I think so. There will be a Kickstarter... I think it's just been pushed back to maybe, is it June or something? There is an expansion coming out for On Mars, which is another one of Vital Lacerda's games. I think every time his, he gets a new thing on Kickstarter from Eagle Griffin, they put the back catalogue available to, you can, you can back the Kickstarter and get something from his back catalogue. I think you can probably just do that in the Pledge Manager on its own. Maybe it has to be with On Mars. But Kanban EV has just arrived with backers and is in the process of um i think there's there's a bit of a struggle getting games yeah michael there's a bit of a struggle getting games to the uk at the moment it's but it seems like a bit of a nightmare not that i'm kind of got 
intimate knowledge of the workings of things. I just know the kind of end result is that games aren't really making their way to here. Uh, so I think when Kanban EV does manage to get into the UK as a retail release, so too will some stocks of all the other Eagle Griffin things. I think they'll come in as well. Because I know that, I think Firestorm Games, other game places are available, not sponsored. I think they do back at a retail level. So they have had copies of all of this stuff in. But I'm sure it'll be coming into other places soon as well. Yeah, try for Master Gallerist. Always try for Master Gallerist. And yeah, I assume Eagle Griffin Games have some stock somewhere. Yeah, sh shipping, shipping to the UK from America, it's, it's always been quite expensive. I don't think that's really changed with, uh, with our Brexiting and stuff. It's uh, postage for you that we've sadly ruined now. But hey, how many board games come from Europe, right? So, what am I doing here? I'm going to the markets. I can either go to the auction or go to the markets. I think we could... We can make a decent case for trying to get some reputation tiles early because I was thinking about this after my game yesterday. That I was racing for these things because the bonuses are great. Earning tickets, though, is kind of getting in the way. It might advance the end of the game and all of that stuff. You are losing people from your gallery for getting the reputation tiles. But... Having said that, you are starting to earn them and you need five of them by the end of the game. Whereas early on, Lacerda is going to start at the top and then work his way to the right of the markets and the auction, alternating market auction, market auction. So that means his first spaces in the auction, if you don't take them, are going to be one and one. So it will be easier to outbid him to wait until later and get these expensive places, providing I can afford them. I think it would be good to go to the market first. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm, I'm not getting anything from the 3D art row because I haven't got any 3D art yet. So Lacerda is going to get this space and then this space in the next couple of turns. I'm more leaning towards, first of all, I would like something that just earns me one influence just so I only have to spend one influence to take a kicked out action. But to take something from this column, I have to kick out a collector and then a pink or a brown which of course I don't want to do. That puts me more towards this side of things. So I can either take a reputation tile that will get me a money at the end of the game for everyone in my gallery. Or I could take the sculpture one, which is an influence and three points for every collector that's in my gallery. This is the one that dropped at some point or Marty stepped on or something. Got a blemish. We don't blemishes on board games, do we? And they be pristine and perfect at all times. Maybe I'll take that one and then that one. I think I am, I'm going to go for this one first. It's, it's one that Lacerda will get to sooner as well. So I think I'm going to take this. I have to earn three influence. And then I need to send someone out of my gallery and into my lobby. Not too bad, though, because I can do a, an investor. And I do have the tickets to get him right back in there. So it's not too bad, really. This pops over to my player board into this reputation tiles section. I choose where it goes. And I decide what bonus I'm getting. Hmm. Check I'm getting all of the steps right of this action. The international market must meet conditions of the row and the column. Yep, I do have those people in my gallery. Gain influence based on the column. I have to kick someone out. Move reputation tile to an empty space. Or maybe... Maybe I could take just the two photo ones. Uh, so on the, on the Eagle Griffin site, the gallerist is available on there, and you're in the United States. Oh, great. And the gallerist scoring expansion is listed. It's a separate thing, is that? Hopefully that might make it its way into shops then, because I know that it's in... It's just in the, the copies of the gallerist now, I think. If I was to buy a new copy now, it would have that scoring expansion in it. But as an, as an early adopter, I've been punished. I've been fine with that, though. I've, I've gotten uh, five years of gallerying out of this. Uh, so I'd like to get hold of it at some point. I, th I think it's the kind of thing that, if I remembered, they've probably got on their stall at Essen. Not that Essen happened last year 
or is happening this year, but one day it will happen again. Uh, there's an interesting... Hi Tristan. There's an interesting strategy you can try to take where you have Lacerda take the market action more often to lock up all his assistance, which frees up your movement from knocking him out. Ooh. I like that. That is a great idea. I've never thought about doing that. So I still need to try and get five reputation tiles. One is on my gallery already, so we don't need to worry about that. I need to get four from here. That is right. So these up here are requirements, right? You have to have these people in your lobby. Am I getting all of this right? Let me just double check that I am uh, explaining the game to you. Here is uh, the great big rule book. Take a reputation tile. To access a row, you have to have that work of art. I know that. But well, that tells us the people that we need to kick out. Yeah, we have to move a visitor from your lobby. And you get to place an assistant down. I think we were getting it right. Yeah, you have to have people in your lobby to get access to a column. Then you need, to, if you're taking a tile, you have to send them out of your lobby. Okay then, so let's think about this instead then. I, I would prefer to just gain one influence. I do have a collector and an influencer in my lobby right now, so I can go to this column. So this is every meeple I have in the auction section at the end of the game is worth an influence and three money. The sculpture one is every set of pink, white, and brown in your gallery at the end of the game is worth four points. The auction one is more attractive, and then go to the left-hand one later on to get more things. Seems good. Yeah, I'm going to go here then. So, coming over to my player board again. I have to send someone out of my lobby now to do this. I will, of course, rather than the collector, I'll send out the influencer, the lobby back to the plaza. And then I get to place this in one of these six slots and get the bonus of that slot. Fortunately, I can't get myself a collect just yet. I get myself two different tickets. I get myself another assistant, which is good because I am about to lose an assistant from doing this. And I would get some influence. But do you know what? Or I could get fame for every collector. I want to leave that till later so I've got more collectors in my gallery. I could get money or fame based on the people in my gallery. I think early doors. I want to get more people in my gallery. Do you reckon? I think that's all right. And I would like to win as much influence as possible. I think I am going to grab a pink, an influencer, get them straight. So they've, they've left my lobby and gone into my plaza and shot straight back into the gallery. So enamored by my uh, financial, uh, my fancy financial footwork, as Michael Scott would put it, on the international markets. So I need to grab an assistant now. They will take up that space in the international market. I earn just one influence because I changed my mind about which thing I was taking. And there is, you can see at the bottom here, majority points for who's got the most in each column at the end of the game. So, I think it's going all right, right? Now Lacerda has been kicked out. He, well, we might as well use this assistant. He goes first in the markets. He goes top left. He's going to take that one out of the game. Ah, so we could just keep going back because every time we kick Lacerda or his pawn out of here, he gets another, he gets another tile, right? When he, uh, it's when he comes out here as well, isn't it? When he gets kicked out of the international market and when he comes to the international market as well, isn't it? Yes. When he comes to the market, or he or his assistant is kicked out. So he just can't leave assistants behind, so he stops hoovering up the tickets. Genius! I never thought of that. So, it's him now, isn't it? Speak of the devil. Here he is. 
kicking me out. And, oh, well, you, you can go to the, I think I said something wrong earlier on. You can end up going to the same action twice because when you get kicked out, you head on back to your gallery and you can go anywhere from your gallery. So I could just come straight back to the international markets. I do have some assistance spare. So, Lacerda goes first because he's taking the action. And he's gone to the markets. His second meeple goes in the auction space. So that's going to go there. Oh, he needs to have left a guy behind. He goes to the auction space. Not bothered about anything that it does. I am going to spend an influence to be able to... Well, I think what I should have done, take backs on my turn, take an executive action that I've never taken, so that I can put a pink and a brown in my lobby, because they're about to leave that lobby, aren't they, if I'm taking another reputation tile. So, Lucida is only a couple of goes away from getting this one. So... I'm kind of more tempted to take this. I would like more influence now because I only wanted one because I knew I was about to spend it. I was about to... Whatever I earned was about to be spent. So earning three now would be preferable. Lucerda, if I take this one, though, Lucerda's just going to skip down to that one next time. Yes, I'm going to take this one because it's just every everyone that's in your gallery. I'd like that. I earn myself... I can't quite see. A re influence. I do have someone in my uh, lobby. Then I need to pop an assistant in there, don't I? I need to kick an, a visitor out from my from my lobby to the plaza. So that is going to be, I think, another another investor. Sorry that you keep getting yo-yoed around like this. Drawn back in and chucked straight back out. Joel, I don't know why your comment has been hidden by YouTube, but yes, I encourage you to like and comment and subscribe and stuff. It does all massively help YouTube's inscrutable algorithms. I do have an artwork on display. Can you see um, the game does come with a couple of easels because the more players you have, the more international works of renown you have that can be auctioned off at the end of the game. You know, I, I have played the game at four players once, actually. I don't really remember that game. I, I was sure I hadn't played it, and then when I opened it up, right at the top of the box was the scoring sheet from when we did play it uh, four players, and one of the two brand new players completely thrashed uh, all the rest of us, which is always nice, isn't it? So, I need to take another bonus over here. I do have... This would get me five influence right now on top of my three. Always nice to wait till later when I've got more people in here. Getting tickets would be lovely to attract more people in. Getting an assistant would be nice since I've just given so many up. Yes, getting an assistant I think I'm going to go for. Because the assistant gets me that influence action. So, a twofer. So, they go to their desk. And then if we look at my gallery, it's two influence for every pink. One influence for every white. That's five more influence. Me up to eight. Still lose three. To take a bonus action. That's something, isn't it? So the sir's gone, I've gone, I go back to my gallery, ready for another action. Hi Steven. Content providers say they don't get to play their favourite games. Their times are filled with new games. Planning on more live plays. I am. I think that uh, I'll go I'll go more into this where like I'll be doing some I'll be doing like a proper QA at some point soon as well. Uh, possibly with Rachel if she's available, which, like, if we do it in the Easter holidays, she will be available, so I should do it soon. Uh, but I'll go into this a bit more in that and in the recap coming up video that will be coming up soon. Uh, but, yeah, I've, I've just kind of... All of a sudden, after messing about with it in the background loads for probably about nine months <laughs> and it not working or not being as nice as I would have liked, I think I finally cracked live streaming to a point that I think it looks good on the camera and stuff and works well. And I've found that, as well as being kind of worried about doing it before I actually started, would I like doing it? Would I be good at doing it? Flow and stuff, am I just going to keep pausing in silence? But I love doing this. So I've, I've done like, I did a Mage Knight stream that was about three and a half hours long. The Aura at Labor, I didn't think was going to be that long. That was about three hours. Just flown by for me. I know that this has been, um, how long has this been now? 
this been over an hour, hasn't it? It was creeping up to an hour when I last checked. An hour and 20. Uh, so yeah, it, I absolutely love doing this. And I don't think it's just going to be older games. There are plenty of new games as well. That's why I end up with this like huge backlog of stuff that just end up falling behind the, by the wayside because new things keep coming in, things don't win the votes, patrons get to vote on playthroughs all the time. And I don't just pick the one that wins, that one for sure gets filmed, but I try and do as many as I can from that uh, list as well. Live plays, I know that they're long and stuff and they've got their drawbacks in their own ways, but for the fact that I can just play this out now, I think it's quite a nice transition in between all of the things. It's up as well. You can just watch it. I didn't edit it. Like, it's, it's longer because of that, and it might have some gaps in it. It's going to have periods like this where I'm uh, talking with, uh, with the chat. But I, I love that aspect of it as well, that there are people watching, and you can uh, talk about the game and just anything while you're doing all of it. Uh, yeah, it's been an eye-opener doing these live things. Still, playthroughs filmed. As uh, Joel just mentioned, Anno 1800 is filmed and is the next one that's going to be uh, edited and going up for patrons early next week that'll be going up because there's some if, if you saw my schedule at the beginning of the week scrumpy was supposed to be on sunday that has been shifted as well as the kickstarter launch if you've been um preparing yourselves for that that is going to launch on tuesday now as well as the video going to be some um some fixing of my uh, scrumpy video and stuff before then but then it, i know 1800 will be going up fields of all is up for patrons right now as well but yeah, live playthroughs in general, I think, are going to be a great way, providing people like them, <laughs> and, and from the viewing numbers, they seem to be. Like, they, they are getting... I know that a load of people tuned in live and might not have watched a load of it, but the, the Mage Knight one... Mage Knight is immensely popular, I know. The Mage Knight one is, is one of the most watched videos in the last 28 days, and it's only been a week since it went up. I think within a day it was in the, the top 10... Uh, of the last 28 days. And the Auret Labora stream has had more views than Kanban EV so far, which I wasn't expecting. I thought Kanban would uh, <laughs> demolish that ranking. So they, they seem to be being watched, and I'll, uh, I'm asking for feedback in that uh, coming up video as well about what I've, I've asked in the Patreon as well what people think of the, of the live videos and things, because I know that people will love the, the handheld parts and the edited playthroughs and things. And... If I'm doing live videos, maybe there'll be fewer of those. But by spending the same amount of time just doing a live video, there are like almost double the playthroughs for March just in the week and a half that I'd been doing uh, live plays. So hope in a long, long, long answer to a simple question. Yes, there'll be more going back to games because this week when I was just doing that schedule and thinking, well, or at Labora, I'm doing a top 10 Uwe Rosenberg games, it would great to do Aura at Labora so I uh, get refreshed on what, what that's like and what I think about it. And then what should I play for the other game? And all that just kept going around and around in my head was just like the gallerist, the gallerist, the gallerist, the gallerist. What else should we play though? Should we play something new? The gallerist. I want to play the gallerist. So here we are. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I'm going to put it back uh, tonight, even though I do need to do some other things. I'm tempted to play the gallerist again uh, tonight as well. Oh, I think we've had a bit of a chair spin from him. A little, this is a little interlude. This doesn't disturb him too much. Spun the chair around, jumping back in it. Entirely happy about what I think we have here. Arty Cam. There he is. You can see his cat cushion in the background as well. Hi, Aaron. Yes, 2 p.m. BS2. Next week, though, uh, for everyone that is in the United States or places that aren't England, basically, uh, I am going to do an evening stream of something. I'm not sure what the games are going to be next week. I'd like to see a particular game, let me know. But uh, I think one of... If I get to do two streams next week, which I'm hoping to, I think one of them is going to be Mage Knight again because it's in my head now. I want to play an actual game of it rather than a Let's Learn Mage Knight together. Because I want to keep Mage Knight in my head and all of that stuff, but also for the <laughs> some stuff that I should just be talking about in the coming up video. Maybe I'll do that live. Uh, but yeah, it's the from April now is the the end of April is the fifth anniversary of the channel. It's always a nice milestone, isn't it? The anniversary of something. 
fifth is a nice uh, a nice round number a nice hefty anniversary for the channel so i'd like to do some special stuff for that but an idea for uh, a film playthrough i would like to do but also i don't know if we're going to be able to do it that week i would like to do a big week of streams if i can if i can get the time off work and if i haven't got uh, videos to be uh, filming and editing in that week i would love to do like a a big bonanza uh, live stream week where one of the planned things it's not set in stone yet because i don't know if it's going to be available in that week is that we're going to have a big two-player mage knight game with paul grogan who is you know that's his favorite game incredibly experienced at mage knight he's going to demolish me but it should still be fun he designed two of the expansions to mage knight. and it's always lovely playing a game with paul let's get back to the gallerist in short i'm really excited about live streams i hope that you've been enjoying them or that we'll enjoy them and uh, yeah, it's not going to be the be all and end all and the only videos that I make, but I am excited about how much I enjoy these and the volume that I could make if more of them were live streams as well. That's the kind of something that gets me down sometimes. And I think about a lot is just looking at the shelves and just seeing, oh, I need to do that video for Meadow and there's an Escape Tales game and Talon Tinsu is just looking at all of these games and that's just kind of in the last couple of months and i keep saying these things are i'm hoping to do these in the coming up videos and when you only get to make one maybe two a week just because you know i've, I've still got uh, my my normal job in between all of this as well yeah it does feel like an avalanche of things that like i've been waiting like a year i've had this long and it's still not had a video but <laughs> stuff just keeps happening i have to do the kickstarter ones when the kickstarters launch new games are coming through some have time pressures on them some just don't get voted for at all and just like as much as i want to do videos for all of these things <laughs> you, can, you can just only do so much and luckily most um publishers and people that send me games are extremely understanding about that i could be a lot better and i have tried to be a lot better in the last like, six months or so, a lot better at just saying it's going to be longer than I thought and up to keeping in contact with people. I've been very bad for that, of just uh, kind of hiding away from stuff and not just being like, it's going to be delayed. I am trying. Uh, so yeah, that is going to get better. But hopefully the, the shelf of shame and uh, the filming shelf of shame that's in here and is in another game and another room, there is a, a, a bookshelf that is full of games that i need to get to at some point i hope that live playthroughs everyone into it are a way of getting through more of that uh, more of that stuff and paul mentioned it on his live show. he did didn't he yeah i, I watched uh, as soon as i got out of uh, aurel labor i tuned into paul while i was putting it all away he did mention it. we're going to do it at some point it might be the next month or something but we are going to do a stream together and i'd like to be as good as I could be at <laughs> Mage Knight, which of course isn't going to be uh, great. Yeah, I think uh, we, all, we all struggle with shelves of shame, don't we? Just like kind of that added pressure, added pressure that you want to be playing all of these games and give you everything a chance and kind of justify all the money that you've paid for it. But uh, yeah, I feel terrible when uh, someone sent me something and I haven't filmed it. And especially when time has gone on and on and on and on and uh, it just hasn't made it. Yeah, that's uh, that's the way that it is uh aaron i liked it when you did the choose your own adventures with the audience maybe there could be a way to play games with others yes i uh, i still have those i've still got more choose your own adventures that i haven't done from that set and somebody mentioned called sword and sorcery i bring up steam without it messing up put it on the stream or anything like that. i bring up my installed steam game so it's just called sorcery exclamation mark which is by Steve Jackson, uh, uh, who's involved in the the fighting fantasy ones as well. He was uh, one of the authors of a lot of those. This is kind of designed to be a game as well. It's a choose your own adventure thing, but designed to be a, a video game one. So, yeah, we we should do uh, more streams of that too. It's all about time, isn't it? But uh, hey, time for another plug. I'd like to support the Patreon. And you're not already, and you can, and you want to. It helps uh, more things get made. That's why I'm here now. So, 
I do apologize if you're waiting back for this later and you're just here for the uh, the gallerist stuff and you don't want breaks. Hey, it's good to have a chat sometimes, isn't it? Lucerta just kicked me out, I believe, and I am thinking about what to do next. I don't really want to come over here. I've already got an assistant waiting um, in the wings there. I could... I've got influence now. I could come promote someone again. I could kick Lacerda straight out of here and go with um, Tristan's suggestion of just getting Lacerda to keep coming here to use his assistance up. Whilst at the same time still getting to get tiles myself. I think that would be a good thing to do. Go up and sit down and did a playthrough of Memoir 44 with the audience. Maybe something like that. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, the most co-ops is a good idea for because, yeah, the... I'm sure um, back in the older days of uh, Rado's earlier live playthroughs, I'm sure there were a couple of games where someone from the audience was nominated to kind of be the spokesperson that made the final decision, but then everyone else uh, collectively helped along with the decisions. Play um, Memoir 44 isn't co-op, I don't know why I said it was co-op. Uh, but yeah, you could do something more like that, that we have out there. There must be good games that we can work with. Maybe Calico or something. I need to do uh, a video for Calico. Right, what am I doing? I'm kicking him out. I need to discard a ticket. I, I have to discard a white one, because that's what there is the most of still. And so, what would I like? If we keep up with the reputation tiles, I can take either of these now. I would love to earn three reputation, because that would mean my next kick, kicked out action is only going to cost me one. And I just need anyone in the lobby. Which is fine, right? Getting all of that right, aren't I? I just have to kick one person out. I'm sure I've looked this up uh, already. Yeah, there's a column that you have access to. To access a column, you must have these visitors in your lobby. Yes. I do have that correct. So. Maybe it would be good to just have the one because I've still got these two in my lobby, but I would like the three influences I mentioned. I'm going to grab this one. Pop an assistance in there. I have kind of um, burned through my assistance right now. And where would I like to pop it? I could, again, get five more influence. But then I'm doing it. I am going to... Get up to 16 influence. So again, just costs me one to take a main kicked out action. And I'm trying to head up to the upper reaches of this. Get my uh, great discounts. What would be good as a, as a play along game? Have Memoir 44. There must be some great ones. So I've kicked him out and he, for his third meeple, is going to come up to the top of here. And take one away. I need to send someone out from the lobby as well. I will send out him. Okay. And then Lacerda comes over here, kicks himself out, doesn't get anything for that. I can't come here again now, but I can leave and leave my friend behind here. Where would I like to go? I would like to get a new contract, to be honest, and sell something. But... And it would mean that he wouldn't leave a meeple behind. I wouldn't like to promote, because I would like to stay at this fame level for the Surda's next turn, when he's going to kick me out and I want to take a main action. I've still got some money that I could hire. I could afford one assistant right now. More if I took discounts. But maybe I just want to kick him out. And... Yeah, get some... Do I want a contract? Or do I want to sell a piece of art? 
If I got a contract, I could get a new ticket. I could get a new ability. I don't have meeples really available. Tristan suggests Quacks of Quedlinburg. That would be fantastic. I don't have that anymore, but I have uh, Spider. I haven't played any of the uh, expansions of it. I'd like to get to that. That would be a good one, actually. The audience collectively deciding whether to, to push or stop. I think let's sell a piece of art. I would also get this um, system back if I sold a piece of art. And we haven't done it yet. So, going over to the sales office. Gain money denoted by a signature token on the art value track. I have a contract for a sculpture. So that will get me eight money right now. And you pop that back under the artist. Sold their work now. I get eight coins. And remove a matching work of art from the art gallery. So this lovely sculpture, just we can pop it down here, can't we? There's space for it. So we have sold a sculpture. We've made our first headway into that. And sell the art put that there. Move all the works of art to fill in the gaps. So get away from that. But I only need to get one more tile from the international markets, which is good. Uh, flip the contract card. Oh, we need to move a visitor from the gallery out of the gallery because somebody has just bought a piece of art so they they don't need to be in the gallery anymore now the the thing that i would send a collector out brown because i don't need them as much but what happens now is this contract card gets flipped and the action that gets made available to me either the earn money or the earn influence action depends on the color of worker that gets sent out of the gallery so it's that deliberately tough choice that I want the influence action, but to do it, I need to send out a pink meeple, which makes that action less valuable to me. But I think that's what's going to have to happen. Now, let's, ha let's have a less good action. I might never do this. I can get more people back in in different ways. There are still bonuses to be had. No, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it brown side up, and I'm gonna send a collector out of the gal, the, an investor out of the gallery. That's what's happening. I can now though have another collector in my gallery. I have sold a piece of art. Is that all of the steps? Move this in the gallery. Flip the contract card to orient that. Return the signature token to the board. That is all of the sell steps done. So, Mister Lacerda is going to move around and kick me out. That costs me one influence if I want to take an action. I have just come into a load of money. So I would definitely like to buy something. More sculptures, because they're going to stick around maybe. I do have something to sell already. I need to start working on 3D art, because I need to have sold two of those. Maybe it's time to discover a 3D artist. And... You need to increase the fame of this, so discovering um, better ones is nice, but if I discovered the, the lesser, perhaps, artist up here, I would get that influence action again and gain five more influence. I'm taking a main action. I'm discovering a new artist. Check I'm doing all of the steps. Flip the artist tile. Gain the benefit from the bonus tile. So that is influence. It's still five, two pinks and a white. That put me up to 20. And then I get their commission. So whatever they go up to is just one. Well, I've never played along with anyone I know, but I've done Trails of Tukana and Demeter play along with YouTube. Oh yeah, I did. I did play along. Oh, my videos are play along for both of those, but it would be good to do a live one of them. There, there is like... There's definitely like... I could do Welcome To and stuff live. Maybe one of the variants of the different pads of that that I haven't done yet. Any Roland Wright where it's like a 1 to 100 that as many people as you like can play along. Yeah, and I love Roland Wrights as well. That would be good to do. There's a Dice Hospital one coming, isn't there? But I don't know if I'm getting a prototype for that. I've got Dice Theme Park. I see from here. But it will be on the way at some point. Proper output thing up there. So I've come here. That was a kicked out action. They need to go back to my to their desks. And that's Lacerda done, isn't it? So 
I need to come out from here. Pop an assistant back up there. And I would like some more assistants. But do you know what? I think I want to kick Lacerda out of where he is again. And maybe buy some art. Now I could go there. Increase the fame a little bit. Maybe buy some assistants. Yeah, we need to discover a painter at some point. We need to buy some more art. I think I'm going to come here and buy some art. What colour do I need to get rid of? They're all the same, so I think I'm going to get rid of brown. And yeah, we could just buy some incredibly cheap 3D art. Do need to keep... I've got the photo that can be sold at some point. I do need another photo. And I could increase their fame and increase the value of the art that I've got. I can have, I can have both artworks, can't, can't I? From the artist, I think I can. First section. You only have one commission, yeah, but you can buy both of the pieces of art, can't you? Yep, I think so. Uh, have I, have I named the automatic player Mr. Lacerda? Uh, he is, he is just called Lacerda in the solo rules. I think, I think all of them, actually. You are playing against Lacerda in all of Vita Lacerda's deluxe edition games. Uh, not CO2, because you're playing against, uh, humanity in there. But, uh, yeah, you are, you're playing against Lacerda. I think in all of them. I don't know, but I can't remember Vinos's solo mode. V Vinos is probably the one I remember even less than Lisboa. Um, but yeah, we, we could buy another photo because that would be made more expensive. It would only go up by one, which puts me off a bit. It would get it up to two stars, though, so both would be worth eight instead of five. But I don't necessarily need to sell it right now. We could start working on the value of the 3D art. We could buy another sculpture, which would increase it a load. We can be thinking about, you know, the, the tickets it would get me as well. You're getting this sculpture very famous could really help me out. I think I'm going to buy a sculpture. Six money. And yes, doing that. Increase their fame. This is two steps. I've still just got one uh, collector in my gallery, but that's about to change. I'm going to take a white ticket. And I think uh, a pink ticket. I would like to get them into my gallery as much as possible as well. And what's going to happen then? Get all of my steps done. Pay the cost, done. Send the visitors on the artwork tile to the plaza. Increase the fame of the artist. I did that. I don't want to increase it anymore. He's not about to kick me out just yet. Receive tickets, done. Flip the tile and put it in your gallery. Because we can start to build up some nice art as well and get our fourth reputation tile when we get another piece of art. Track the value of the work with a signature token. They are now a three-star artist. And I've got this commission just waiting in the wings. Maybe they'll get um, promoted before I do all of this. And place visitors on the newly revealed piece of art. Look at that sculpture. Two more visitors on there. And it is time for Mr. Lacerda, who is going to just swing around. His assistant's already there. He doesn't get to leave one behind there. Oh, going well, I think. I could have, um, after that, that was a main action, wasn't it? That wasn't a kicked out action. I could have spent my tickets. I kind of want to leave him in the lobby, though, for when I come to the international markets. But I need to send someone out of the lobby if I do that. Maybe I would just spend my pink as my executive action on my turn to get him in my lobby. I just need one more tile and then I can stop thinking about that. And it's going to have to be this other sculptor one. Although later on I could get a painting one if they're still there. Hmm. Okay. Lacerda's well, gone. I feel like I made him waste his action a little bit. Look at this in terms of kicked out actions. He is completely penned in. It's not usually, it's usually the opposite of this. Just a sea of yellow meeples and me uh, spending tickets like nobody's business. Uh, Monica and Raiders of the North Sea, the AI is called Gorm. 
Rename Ruth and Fleece the Dice Game to Sigurd and then Selenia. Oh, I haven't played Selenia as well. I played Black Angel a couple of weeks ago at long, long last. Uh, Selenia is related to it, isn't it? I need to. It's down in the corner somewhere. I need to play Selenia at some point. But yeah, it is better when you can kind of visualize an opponent rather than just um, the dummy player or the AI, isn't it? So I'm kicking him out. I'm about to be spending influence. Take extra action. So I would like to earn influence. Or. Or maybe I don't want to kick him out. Maybe I'm not too bothered about coming here. Maybe. I would still get to put a person back down. I could just come and get another contract. Now I've got all of this art and I want to keep selling it. And I can put an assistant back down when I leave there. That's what I'm going to do, I think. I would like to earn some influence. I'm not sure if that's an action you can get from a contract card. Now, getting an extra person right out of the bag or an extra person straight into your gallery is great for increasing that thing. Getting more contract cards in one big go is good, of course. Hmm. And getting more assistance would, of course, be lovely. Oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to wipe those? I've got a photo I want to sell. The sculpture I don't want to sell. Photo would not be get another contract. I'm going to draw four more cards. See what we can get. I do want to sell two 3D arts. There's a, a get an assistant there. There is, a, there is influence on these cards. I'm going to grab this one. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Put it on the brown ticket thing. Yeah. Uh, or, or pink. We can get, we can get pink. Uh, because then the pink that I'm about to kick out when I take the international market action, I could still get back. And then we would get... I'm still going to spend five influence though, aren't I? On. That's good for later, isn't it? It just would have been nice if I could have spent some influence, so I'm not spending five now to take this action. Because I can pop him on there, but it would be stuck on there, and I would just gain five, then I'm about to lose straight away. So I don't think we'll take an executive action. Yet. Okay. I'm going to... That would have been better off, I think, taking the thing that got me an extra contract card, using that to get the 3D printed one, but it'll be okay. So I'm getting kicked out. Lacerda, his fourth one comes down here. And then I, do I want to take this main action, or do I want to just do an executive action now? And then kick him out myself, because then he'll come here again. Ooh. And I could just take an executive action now. And get that five influence. Which I could have done last turn, but... Because it doesn't spend my influence to take just an executive action. Yeah. I'm just going to take an executive action then. Maybe it means I did nothing now. It gets me... I have to leave them there for now. It gets me five more influence still. He comes home. My turn. I'm going to leave him behind. Kick Lacerda out, which does a ticket. Brown or white, I'm going to do brown. And so me first. Rach is here. Rach 
Chris. He'll think food's on the way. Like Rachel said, you could look at that perking up. We need to zoom out a bit on the morning. But waiting for any inkling that food is on the way. Will he stay or will he go? So I'm kicking Lacerda out. I let's have a look at the markets. And there's an exciting cliffhanger of the Marzi Cam. I want this, because I can take it, because I have the right people in my lobby still. I earn one influence, which is great for getting kicked out. It's going to cost me one influence next time that happens. I like this anyway. Oh, no. I don't have an assistant, but that's okay. Don't need to panic. Oh, Lacerda should have an assistant in here from when he moved out of it. I think. Because I can just grab it from here. But, yeah, you are being a bit wasteful. I need to get some more assistance. So they go there. I get one thing. We need to come back down here. Which bonus do I want? Well, I still haven't got any more collectors in there. I would just get one money from that. I think two different tickets. And what tickets? Well... Another pink. Another white. If any, if any collectors are going to come out again, it would be nice to maybe take this painting contract. I don't need to sell a painting though. Just because it would get me... Oh, there's a photography one that would get you on from the bag. And I haven't got a photography contract yet. I could get a collector straight from the bag into my gallery. Hmm. Tickets though. Two different, two different tickets. I think a pink and a brown. My main action, and then I'm going to take an executive action, which is going to be to spend some tickets. I'm going to spend two pinks to just get this one straight into my gallery. There's still one in my lobby. I'll just spend them all. A brown in there and a white in there. So I can't go to this column until there's another collector in there now. Might mess me up. We'll see. Uh, the remaining ticket count at this moment is four pink, four brown, and six white. So, just over half the ticket's gone. Just over. Lacerda is taking this one away, but I don't care anymore. I don't need any more of these tiles. I need to be thinking about getting in the auction before the end of the game, but... That's a job for when I'm Mr. Moneybags. Lacerda's coming over here and kicking me out. I haven't got 3D art to sell, so I'm going to spend my single influence, take another action, and it's going to be this photography one that um, I can use. I get a brown ticket from this. Ticket, but okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off in the end, isn't it? And then... I get my assistant back. I'm not going to get kicked out of here anymore. Shame. Maybe this is the time to buy a new assistant. How much money have I got? Six money. I could buy a new assistant. More if I get some discounts, which it might be worth doing because I've got so much influence. Could I get some more influence from somewhere? I don't think there's an easy way of doing that right now. I would get another ticket from promoting, uh, from hiring a couple of new assistants. Maybe that would be a good thing to do. I'm running low on them, but it's also nice that I could come over here and I could buy some art with a couple of discounts so that I'm not spending loads of influence when I get kicked out. I do have the money to buy some more art, don't I? But then I wouldn't have the money to hire more assistants. But if I bought some 3D art, I could then sell some 3D art and get an assistant back. I think. And also it would be nice to make, uh, to keep making uh, Lacerda come back here. I'm going to move out of here. And while it's free and it's not discarding any tickets, I'm going to come to this uh, empty space here. Painter does need to be discovered. 
But I can't, um, it would put a collector in the plaza as well. But I think we should do buy a piece of art. Maybe buy, yeah, buy a piece of 3D art because it costs one. But then I couldn't use my influence to get, I want something that costs at least two so I get a good discount from it. And then I only have to spend two influence to take a, another action here, which could be buying the one piece of art. I can't have four pieces of art though, unless I've got a celebrity. I could discover a new artist. Yeah, let's, let's buy something that we need at least a two discount for. So I could buy another photo, which I do need another photo. Before. And I've got two discount for spending that. So yeah, let's buy another photo because we make it more valuable as well. So coming over to the, the photo, I've spent my four money. Increase the fame of the artist. I have got two collectors in there plus zero. You go to the plaza, I get a pink ticket. Tickets. But there's a painting available there that I uh, haven't got any tickets on it. You go into... I'm not paying to increase the fame anymore. We do need to take this. And if we come over to my player board, she is now a two-star photographer. So I've got a new eight value and increased that one to eight. And it only cost me four and I think one originally. This comes into my gallery and knocks out this reputation tile. So I could either get myself two money or I think it would be far better. Someone needs to leave my lobby for this, but that'll be okay. To increase someone's fame by two, because that's what we're doing here. Whose fame would I like to increase by two? Let's have a look at the artists. So I could increase him to three. I've got his commission still. Oh, I can't discover a new artist, can I? until I've gotten rid of his commission token. So I can't take a kicked out action. Why didn't I want to buy his art? Because I wanted more discount. I don't think that was a good idea. I think I'm going to have to be take back city here. I'm still going to get all of that stuff at some point. But I think so that I haven't got the commission token anymore, we're only going to be able to get a one discount from my influence here. Because it only costs one. But I think it will be better. Does this track make sense? Why I'm doing this? So I can get a kicked out action, basically. It's going to cost me more influence. Which I'm never happy about. I don't see a way of earning more influence before we do that. Yeah, I'm just buying his thing. He goes up by two. So he is a one green star 3D artist. I think all this 3D art is uh, you know, to a lot. I've got all that. I've got all that. I still get my thing. I He goes into the plaza. He needs to leave the plaza because I'm getting this bonus. And then somebody is getting two more famous. I want to sell the 3D art as soon as possible because there, there is a meeple hung up on it. And I do want more 3D art. The sculptor is on the way though to getting right to the top. But it makes it more expensive when I want to buy it. It'll be okay. Make the sculptor too more expen too more famous. I have got a sculpture. So we'll, we'll do the 3D artist because then the two green star 3D artist. Photographer is one green star. Yep, yep, yep. All good. I've got all of that sorted now. Think. So Lacerda comes and kicks me out. And I need to spend four influence, sadly, to take an action here. But I think it'll be worth it. I'm going to discover somebody new. And I think to try and get more masterpieces, we need to discover a, a more famous artist, maybe. Well, I don't have that much money floating around. I don't want more, more tickets would accelerate the end of the game as well, whereas the bonus of just increasing someone's fame more might be more preferable. I do get his commission of 10. 
You'll go in there. I get to increase someone else's fame by two. So I can still do the sculptor. Do the photographer again. Do I need to buy another photo before that? Yes, I do. Yeah, the sculptor, I think, is going to be one of the celebrities. So I'm going to increase her fame by two. Okay. Picked out action. Yep, 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 yep. I need to pick anywhere. I could come straight back here if I wanted. What do I want to do? I want to spend some influence. I want to sell a piece of art. All of these things would cost me. I want more assistance. I've only got four money, though. I could... I could spend two influence to get eight if I made someone more famous. And then I would spend three to get kicked out, where I could do it again. There are, there are no other artists I could do it again with, though. That are at that stage, there's only one artist with a number one on them. It would make the sculptor more famous. I have got a sculpture still that I want to sell. No, oh, no, I don't want to sell it. I've already sold one. I want more assistance because I haven't got any to spare really at the moment. But I've only got four money. So I could get 28 and then kicked out action. Buy some new assistance. Free discount. Back down here and then you've made someone more famous. I'd end up with two assistants and then get ready for the international markets. Maybe that's something to do. Linear? Black Angel? Yeah, I've, I've only played the, the... The Black Angel side of things. Um, it was good. Not... Um, I think I've definitely yeah, built it up too much of being like, it's the, the designers of Twa and I love Twa. Not everything can be Twa though. Not everything wants to be Twa. So I'm spending two influence here to make the sculptor more famous. I get the reward of two, four, six, seven, eight. It means it's only going to be one to get a kicked out action, which I want. So, they get three more famous, which I like. They're getting on their way to being a celebrity. And that's it, I believe. I need to discard a ticket. It has to be a white ticket because I kicked Lacerda out. Lacerda swings around, kicks me out. I spend one influence to take another action here. I could... get me a ticket doing a lot of things here i think i'm going to get assistance i've got six money and it is seven to hire the next two assistants so i think i'll hire the next two assistants i'm going to get a white ticket out of my choice of tickets crooked doesn't it i am going to go for a discount of two on those so i just spend five because you might as well you're always going to be knocked down to the last thing here. I am going for Master Gallerist. Three masterpieces. Uh, it's, it's rough trying to make them celebrities, isn't it, basically? But if we can get a lot of collectors and stuff, we'll see how we can uh, get on with it. Okay, I've, I've been kicked out. I took my extra action. I'm done, aren't I? My turn. I'm about to go here, so I would like to have some money for the auction. So, I think, although I don't want to kick him out again, it's going to have to be kick out Lacerda. Get rid of a pink ticket this time, I think. Kick out Lacerda so that I can sell something. I think first... 
I want to have popped an assistant as an executive action. I want to have popped an assistant on. What's going to get me more money? I don't want to sell the sculpture. The 3D art is worth more money right now. I think... Let's see, earning eight more would put me up to 30 again, and I'm about to be kicked out, so I don't want that. I don't really want to earn influence yet, so I think I'm going to pop assistant on there. Maybe I want to do that after. I want to do that after the action because then I can get a collector right into my gallery once I've sold a piece. So I'm going to sell this 3D art over there for 11 big ones. That goes away. You go back. I'm getting all of the steps. Gain money. Remove the gap art. Slide everything left. Move a visitor out. Oh yeah, moving a visitor out, that is going to be the thing that's... Oh, we, we could have taken executive action first to bring a brown into the gallery and a white into the lobby. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. And then... But then brown goes out. That hasn't got the influence action that I want. I think it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So 3D art goes on the brown side again. I get this assistant back. Visitor from the gallery, flip the contract card, return the signature token to the board. Okay. That's all the selling done. And then as a future executive action, I can now do this, bring another collector straight into my gallery. Lacerda. Going to pop along, leave someone behind there. First of all, he's going to put... Let's see, he's got three up here, so his next one goes in there. And... I get kicked out, and so I can spend two influence to be able to take an action here. I would like to earn just one, really, because I'm just above it. Where am I going to go next to buy some art, maybe? I've got 12 money. I want to, go to come to the auction now, don't I? And spend maybe six. Ooh. If. Let's see. Take Vax here. If. If instead. I need to spend a lot on trying to win this auction, don't I? He's, he's bid five. If I get these two spots, I would win the auction. It would be okay. He'll come here now, here next. Then I'm in those spaces. But then that's full, and he's still got enough meeples, doesn't he? He's had his place, right? Just had his spot, I think. If I had sent out a pink meeple rather than a brown... So that card would be the other way up for me. I can now earn three influence. I do have anyone in my lobby. And I can bring that pink straight back into my gallery with this bonus. This costs me six money, which I'm not too happy about. But we've got influence. We can get discounts for stuff. And I have already lost the majority for that column. I don't know if that's the ideal thing to do. My turn. I wanted for something. I'm sure uh, Rich would just pop in. He needed me for something. How's uh, Marty doing? He didn't go and get uh, some food. He's having a, a little bit of a stretch out there. While we think, do I kick Lacerda straight back out? Maybe I do. Maybe what I do is. Executive action. Point of order. I'm going to do an executive action here and bring somebody out of the bag to go into my gallery. Is there a collector in the bag? There is indeed. 
I am going to put a collector straight in the gallery, which is what that bonus is, isn't it? Check that, uh, that bonus. Choose any visitor from the bag and place them in your gallery. The gallery collector limit still applies. Yes. I can't remember why I wanted to do that first. But I can leave someone behind there now. Any three more influence would uh, be a treat right by now, but I can't do that. What I can do is come back here. Another ticket, another pink ticket. But I get the choice first. Three, three. So he's going to go there next. I'm going to come here again. I have the right people in my lobby to be able to do this. If I'm earning one, I can get a discount of one, two, three, four, and then just earn one again. And I, it would only cost me one to get kicked out again, if you see what I mean. Or just get a discount of two. If I'm about to sell a photo, that's going to be earning me eight. Maybe I don't need the discount as badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a discount of two. I need to pay four still, because the space I want is here. I haven't got any tickets or anything yet. Maybe I should have got a pink out of the bag with that. Yeah, because I'm about to win 10 influence. So if I'm earning 10 influence, I should have I should have only got on one discount, so I would be on 22, because that point me to 32, I only lose two. And then look at all of these spaces for money discounts. Yes, I'm going to stay there. And then I earn one discount, one, one influence for being in this column. I earn two, four, six, seven, eight, nine influence for that bonus. I'm right at the top. You need to watch out, though, because if you win a load of influence, it's going to be wasted. You can only go up to 35. Then Lacerda pops back in with his suddenly startling lack of assistant. Takes that reputation tile away. I'm fine. He then goes over here, picks me out. I will spend two influence. I would like another contract. But I would like a lot more to sell something. I'm going to sell my photo. I'm going to send out an investor again because I want those collectors staying in for this. Sell this photo. So the gallery is looking a bit bare again. But that's three of the four things I need to sell. I need to get another 3D art and sell it. And then get another sculpture and painting, and I've already won the auction for the photo. Maybe it's working. I'm selling the photo. Photo is... He's not a two-star artist. I only get five for this. Be okay. Get five money for that. Selling a piece of art. Gain the money. Remove the thing. Move a visitor out, added brown, flip the contract card, remove, turn the signature. Done, 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 done. My turn. I'm going to have to kick him out again. It'll be okay. Will it be okay? He's still got assistance to spare, hasn't he? One more cycle around and he won't. Okay. First of all, I want to do an executive action on my... Oh no, I don't, I don't want to earn influence yet. I want to spend a load of influence if I'm going to then earn a load. I'll buy a piece of art, but I've only got six money. I do need another contract for 3D art, and then he wouldn't leave a person behind. Hmm. What do you reckon? We don't need to discover a painter, but we do need 10 money to buy a painting, which we're not going to sell. 
He's got a long way to go if he wants to become a celebrity. We've got to buy another sculpture. 3D art's cheap. I could just buy that and start on the way to selling it. Buy the 3D art with like a 1, 2, 3, 4 discount. So it just cost me 1. Picked out by Lacerda. What else do I need to buy? I do need to buy a photo. Oh no, photo's coming free. I need to buy a sculpture then. If I come here then I don't need to kick him out again. I want to buy a sculpture before I make them any more famous. You get two tickets for buying that sculpture though. Find the painting you get no tickets for and he gets really famous. Hmm. It's just having the money for it all. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I would have no money to do the next action with. I could always do an executive action when I get kicked out. But I, c I can spend a load of influence and then earn, do this executive action to earn two, four, six, seven, eight, nine back. Let's come over. Leave you behind. Kick him out. Have to discard a pink. And then I can earn nine influence after this. So I want to end up with like twenty-two, which is okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 3D art is the thing I can sell again. In the painting I need. Having the sculpture I need. Got four discount, haven't I? No, six. Six discount. I want to buy something that's worth more than six. So that's going to have to be the painting, right? Six, ten. Got two money left. I'm buying his thing. It doesn't give me tickets as well, which is a bonus. This boosts his fame three plus the number of collectors I've got. So six spaces. So he is a two gold star artist. If I was selling this, I would, could get 17 money, but I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it in my gallery. And he is three steps away from being a celebrity. I don't need another painting. Good, because there's three tickets available on this next one. Lacerda. Making my head burn. Oh, no. Before the thing is over. I want to do an executive action to earn myself two, four, six, seven, eight, nine influence because that gives me 31. He kicks me out. I want to take an action. I only have two money. So do I want to buy the 3D art maybe? Get a one, two, three discount. I could get a massive discount, couldn't I? I could get a 14 discount or something if I was willing to just lose all of my influence. I need to buy 3D art and sell it. I need to buy a sculpture. That's it, right? Buy the 3D art. Just get a discount for 1, 2, 3, 4 of it. And then there's the fifth. I, oh, there should be a meeple one. Put him in the plaza. Their fame goes up by one, two, three. 
And I could be dropping this down as well to get them higher and higher and higher. I'm not going to yet. I... I could go to the auction again as well and... But he can have the majority on these things. I want another collector in my gallery, so I'm going to take a white ticket. Okay, never mind. Do you think this is going well? Getting a bit ropey, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's been a <laughs> two hours 22. Yeah. Congratulations for sticking around thus far. The heady heights towards uh, the start of the stream. Don't want to watch a <laughs> massive game. Maybe I should pick a game where I do a shorter game sometimes. And I'm not sitting here stuck in thought. But I'm buying this. I've boosted her fame. This is going to be a three green star piece of art. I got my white ticket. This is me being kicked out. That goes into my gallery. We're all good. New or over here. Me could just sell that and get 11 and then get a contract and then get ready to sell it later. Contract for 3D art could be getting an assistant or I draw another contract and hope that one of the four is 3D art, but if it's not, I'm stuck because I don't need another contract. Getting Using the bonus and stuff is always nice. Of course. I could come and increase the fame of an artist. But I want to buy the sculpture before I make them a celebrity, really. A couple of promotion jobs really so I don't want to buy another painting if I boosted his fame it would cost me four and then it wouldn't be that bad to get kicked out again wish I could afford the sculptor I think tempted to spend the white ticket as an executive action. What do we reckon? Need the traditional art for endgame. I yes, I need it for endgame. Another look at our things. I need to sell 3D art for the guy. Dealer. And I need a sculpture for the gallery because my photo is going to be the work of renown. It's just the order to do these things in. I need to come to the reputation a few times. So maybe have to just say goodbye to all of this stuff. I would get 11 for selling the 3D art right now. It would cost me 13 to buy the sculpture. I don't have a contract for that, though. So start working on their fame first, or go and get the contract first. Go and get the contracts, and then when I get kicked out, I can get the... Yeah. Kick them out. Brown ticket gone. If another brown ticket goes, we can force the intermediate scoring. They can get me a load of influence back. Yeah. Which would be nice to get kicked out as soon as possible. Do I risk drawing four more cards? I am sure that a 3D art would come out. But. If it didn't, I would be getting a contract I don't need at all. Maybe a painting and they're selling it. And maybe we can buy a new one before the end of the game. But I think I have to take this. I have to take this. I can't risk it. I'm going to place it over here because then this gets discarded. It's all used up. I don't get a ticket again. Uh, but 
that's there now, and I've got my assistant back. It's always nice. <laughs> Just know we get screwed with the card draw, yeah. I can imagine that happening to me and we, we're just stuck on it. So, where are we now? I've kicked him out, he's there. Lacerda, moving over there, getting nothing out of it. I can get an assistant. I might as well. Well, I don't know, actually. My executive action this turn... I think he's going to be to spend the white ticket. Did I do an executive action last turn? I don't think I did. I'm going to do this. To get... I don't need people waiting in the lobby anymore. Get another collector in there. Just for fame businesses. For fame purposes. And then... I didn't do one last turn, did I? So this turn... I'm going to gain a new assistant. Just, it doesn't get me anything. The next one would get me something. And, you know, when I sell that, I'll have another assistant available. I, it doesn't change anything right now. So I have them to leave behind. I can't buy art right now anyway, so I will come here. I would love to discard a brown token, but you're not allowed. It has to be the pile with the most in. There are two pink tickets. There is one brown and one white. No tickets, no more game. So. Yes, ticket's been discarded. I'm promoting the painter. I could just promote the sculptor though, couldn't I? And if I had three of their sculptures at the end of the game, that's three masterpieces that I've had. So that would be fine, wouldn't it? Masterpieces are just art that you have had. Just of that type, isn't it? Players with... Yep, celebrity status. When a player buys a work of art, you track it. If they reach 19, they're a celebrity. They can still be promoted. Any exhibited works become a masterpiece. Do I need to have those three pieces in my gallery then for those to be masterpieces? If you've had by them in the past counts, but do they have to be currently masterpieces in my current gallery? Oh, the lights make this room hot. They have to. It's okay if you sold it when it was already a masterpiece. And if I can up oh, quick, still buy a masterpiece. cold. I have to have them in my gallery. So you can sell it and it... Yeah. A little bit confused about that now. We are checking rules for acquiring a masterpiece in the gallerist. Placement restrictions. You can't have a fourth unless you have a masterpiece. Around it consequentially.
Oh yeah, good ways. Make sure the renowned work of art is the same media type the artists you're trying to promote celebrity status. So the work of renown counts as a masterpiece if if a photographer has gotten to be a celebrity their work counts as a masterpiece but this is still okay though right i need three masterpieces right even if they need to be in my gallery it's fine for now i'm going to make the painter yeah make the painter famous so he needs to go to number four. So that costs me four influence. I'm going to get money. I haven't got any brown. I've just got white, but that does get me four money, which might make or break me later on. And he gets one, two, three, four, five fame right to the top. He gets... A celebrity token on him. He will not produce any more art unless you have a commission token for him. I get five money for discovering a celebrity. Well, not discovering, for making someone a celebrity. And that's it. You can still promote them, though. Very clear about that. So. Next up. The well, Surda I kicked out, and that's fine. He's going over here. I don't think I want... A kicked out act. Well, he's taking this space up. And then there's no space for me, so I can do an executive action. I don't have... I could take him away, but I don't want to do that. I'll get to sell my thing when he goes over there. So I just... I, I don't think I want a person. I can always get four money from doing one of my bonuses on there. Yeah, it says exhibited and sold. So does it mean sold when they were a celebrity? Like sold at celebrity status? So my painting needs to move up my player board now. Or does it mean just you sold a painting in the past that used to belong to that celebrity? I'm not sure, actually, now I think about it. If, if we go for have, be exhibiting three masterpieces, I don't think that's what the rules mean, but I think we can do that. So I want Lacerda to kick me out when I sell this painting. I need 13 for a sculpture. But I could pay a load of influence to get a discount. I've got, at the moment, 10 money, so I'd need a discount of 3, which would knock me down to 15 influence. But I could make it... Yeah, I would clear out a pile of tickets in buying that sculpture, and that would give me... 13. So it would knock me back up to 28. Yeah I, th yeah, I think the spirit of the rules, you need to sell it when it's a master, probably. What's the plan? Yeah, I'm leaving you behind. I'm going to... Kick Lacerda out, so that has to be a pink ticket. The game is so close, but I think it's okay. Have we, have we cracked this? I come here, I need to buy a sculpture. That is going to cost me 11. I think, I think we've done this. It's going to cost me 13 money. I've got 10. 10, 11, 12, 13. Then... There you go into the plaza. One plus one for the meeples. So that is going to be five fame steps. I wouldn't even need to go and do the promotion action if I drop another five steps. But the promotion action I can just do anyway, and it would cost me three influence rather than five. And I would get tickets. You still get tickets when the tickets are empty, don't you? I would, I would force the end of the game next turn. And then what would I do the turn after that? I don't know. Because I wouldn't be able to 
promote. Let's see. I get myself a brown ticket and either a pink or a white. Well, a pink would get someone into my gallery. I want sets in my gallery, don't I? So I've done a terrible job at that because I've got no brown in there right now. But maybe we could do something about that before the end. We'll see. It would be good to get another discount. I'm about to lose five. For taking kicked out action. Yeah. Get another discount. Have our money back. Oh no, no, no. I don't care about that, do I? Because I'm about to gain a load of influence. Ignore me. What am I getting? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so I do want to go down. You don't want to be spending five. So I get those tickets. You come into my gallery, which I am allowed to use my fourth slot because there is a masterpiece in my gallery. This painting right here. So I could just spend two. Just keep me there, don't have that discount. Because as my executive action, when does the when does the intermediate scoring happen? Immediately that that ticket is removed or at the end of the turn? Immediate scoring. Very late in solo, I find. At the end of the turn. So I'm going to use my executive action right now to spend my tickets. You go there. You go there. Because I'll get some more now. I think that's all okay. Still above board. And then I get 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 27. Influence right now. Masterpieces need to be exhibited. Okay. Lacerda himself. That's what we'll do. We've done it. I'm going to win the auction for the photo. I've already got I've got two sculptures and a painting. That's three masterpieces. Right there, isn't it? Oh, as, as soon as... Providing that I promote the sculpture. Okay. Lacerda. Kicks me out. Spend two influence to sell a 3D painting. So... I have to send out... A pink, unfortunately. Gotta be done. I do then have that influence action available to me, though. Get some more pink in before the end of the game. That would be great. The 3D artist, just check them on the right page here. Three green stars, yes. Oh, I need more uh, tokens, don't I? Three green stars gets me 11 money. That's sold and works for those goals. Your goes back. Then that's that. You come back. And I then need to have my mind go blank. Okay, then there is one ticket left. If I promote if I promote the if I promote the say the photographer I'm never going to get the photographer to be a celebrity though I could make the it's just if I promote the sculptor right now the bonus is two tickets, which ends the game. I would get to do one more action somewhere else. If though, I don't think I want a kicked out action there anyway. If I come here now myself and promote, oh no, promoting her gets me a ticket as well. Promoting him gets me a ticket. Promoting here gets me a person. Maybe that's why you'd do it. Like you can't, increase his fame anymore but you would get another person in your 
place, which would be four points for another set. Where would you send the game? I don't know what my other action would be. I could get a contract, I guess. And use the executive action from that. So let's promote the sculptor. That's three influence. Over there. I get two tickets. So you do, when, when the supply runs out, that is the signal for the end of the game, but you still get the tickets, don't you? Pretty sure it says. So I think I have to take from white because it's there, but then once none of the tickets are available. Oh no, you can, you can take tickets that aren't there, but you just remove a ticket that is there in its place. And then take them from the discard pile once there are no tickets at all left. So I want... have to be different colours. There, no, there are no white meeples in here to be gained. So I want a brown. So I would discard a white to take that from the discard pile. And... Oh, I can't take another brown. <laughs> Just like another brown, please. Um, white are worth more to me if any came out, but they're just not going to. I could discover a new artist, I suppose. An action. Maybe that's a good thing to end the game with. I'm coming here. I've triggered the end of the game. I've done this. Oh, I need to increase their fame. They're only one step away from a masterpiece anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Five more money. I have, if you look at my gallery, masterpiece, masterpiece, masterpiece. Then Lacerda goes, doesn't he? And I get one more turn after that. Just uh, double check that. Solo rules. One fiddly page. Here we go. Uh, the end of the round in which the last ticket is taken from the box office, and then you get one more action, not at the place you're currently at. Lacerda still goes. It doesn't matter if he's leaving things behind now. It's surely still worth paying two influence to discover an artist. And that would get... Maybe I do want a white ticket rather than a pink. It would get a collector in the house. Collectors are worth a lot of influence and money. So who should I discover here? Getting four money, probably not great. I could bring him in first, so it would be six money. Probably not great. Getting a person straight in there. And it would just be this. Collector straight could just go straight in there, right? I don't think there's a way of getting more tickets. Yeah, I'm going to discover this artist. You go in there. You come in at 7 fame. You, unfortunately, are going to remain unsold. I could go there as my final action, of course. And my bonus, I'm going to get the collector straight in here. Because... Well, that's not more points, is it? Sets are more points. So, sets are just four straight points, whereas collectors are three points. And an influence. And I might top out the influence. I've got a painting, that's one. I've got four collectors, so that's five. I've got two meeples in the auction, so that's seven. So I'm not going to top it out just yet. But I could if I take the executive action too. Okay. That's that. And then, my final thing. Oh, I should have done an executive action last turn. To say... I could get a load of influence. Yeah, getting a load of influence is going to be better, isn't it? If I do the executive action there, last turn when I didn't do an executive action, that's going to be better than bringing a investor in. Because 
a look at my thing, that is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the influence. I can still afford to spend a couple. And what could I do? I could buy some art. Speculate to accumulate. I could buy, say, what do you reckon? Yes, this is, this is the last action of the game. I think we've done it. We could maximize some points. I could either go get a contract and get another investor in the gallery, four points. Or I could... Now, the art here is all terrible for increasing fame. I could... I can't buy a painting, unfortunately. That would get me three different colored tickets. I could buy something from this artist here for seven. Their fame would go up by four. And I could drop down for five. And their art would be worth 14. And I would get another white ticket and bring this collector into my gallery. Shouldn't that collector be in my gallery? That collector should be in my gallery. Yeah, so take back of a take back of about 10 turns ago. Do want a pink thing. Don't doubt yourself. Just go with the first instinct. Yes, let's buy. You should have a meeple on you. Piece of art. Come over here. So you cost seven, which I can afford because I'm money bags now. But I might as well, if I'm dropping down to the next fame level, get a one, two, three, four discount. Then pay three for the piece of art because I've got space in my gallery. I get a ticket of any color. I will take a pink. Thank you very much. Although, yeah, people in my gallery are worth points, so worth getting in. Their fame goes up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I don't need to spend the fame even. 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The money is influence when you're at this stage as well. And I'm going to be in 7, so I might as well have had that discount. You come into my gallery. I've got space because I've got a masterpiece. And I think that's it. A new ticket should go on there, but it doesn't matter. Because this is the end. So I don't know if I can move this up a bit and have it still be on. Well, we're on the 2nd of April. Don't press so hard, you're going to go through the paper. So points at the end of the game. Majority in the markets. I think Lacerda has got... Four to my three in both of these columns. So he gets first place. I get second place, right? So that's just going to be 13. Yeah. Draw what I got last time, but he's a, I've, I'm okay with him doing that. Reputation tiles. So let's see. The ones that give me influence first. Let's just work out the influence and then we'll tot up all the coins. So, an influence for every collector. I've got one, two, three, four, five collectors. Did I do... I didn't do an executive action for my last thing. It was going to be spend the tickets to get a pink straight in and a brown in there. So, it is an influence for every, every white, which is five influence. Then, an influence for every painting. I've only ever had one painting. An influence for every meeple in the auction. That's going to be two. Nearly topped that out as well. One more would have been two extra points. That would have been good. But now let's work out the money. So three money for every collector. And we've seen that I've got five. So that's 15. That's the wrong button. There we go. There we go. There's five. So that's 15. Then three money for every painting. I've got one painting. So that's 18 altogether. Three for every one in the mark in the auction. So that is twenty-one twenty-four. Four for every set. Around twenty-four. Just two sets, isn't it? So twenty-eight thirty-two. And then finally thirty-two. One for every meeple. So 35, 37, 39, 41, 42, 43. 
the reputation tiles. I've done better. I've had, 40, I've had 57 at one point. 43, though, can't be bad. Exhibit. Oh, I haven't taken. Oh, I need to use my commission token, and this uh, sculptor is a gold star. Oh, and this one is a celebrity. Gold star and a celebrity. So, from the exhibit, I have... All right. Yeah, she's not a celebrity. She is one gold star. So, the value of your exhibits, 20, 40, 60, 74. Um, I think of writing this thing down. I don't know how zoomed in this is. I'll put it in this camera in a bit. Uh, on the auction. Oh, yeah. Who won the auction? Well, if we look at the market, Lacerda spent one, two, five, eight money. I spent six, twelve. So I won the auction. I get the international piece of mystery. Even if you haven't got space in your gallery, it's okay. The assistants will move over and let people have a look at it. You basically get the value of that piece of art. And if there is an artist that is now a celebrity, that would be a masterpiece. But it's not. Uh, it is just actually, this international work of renown has been made by <laughs> the photographer from the start of the game that is at fame level four right now. Uh, one green star means that her art that I bid 12 money for is worth five. The curator card. Hi Lance. Yes, we're still going, but this is the end. We're working out if I've made it. Uh, the curator card. I have two sculptures, a photo, thanks to the auction, and a painting. So I've got my 15 from there. Can't do both. I don't think. So 15 on that. The dealer. I have sold sculpture and photo and two 3D art. So that is going to be 20. Influence at the end of the game is worth the amount of points underneath the space you're at, which is going to be 18 for me. Always like to be as high on there as possible. Money I have in my hand is 13. So, absolutely. Nipping on over to the number pad, hoping that things aren't pressing on the keyboard too hard. 74 plus 5 plus 15 plus 20 plus 18 plus 13 gives me. 201, which again, I've done better, but I've got one, two, three masterpieces in there. I don't know if these previous master gallerists count, because I don't know if I had three exhibited there. I might have taken for granted. It was five years ago, though. <laughs> I don't know. I think we can write in there, though. Unless I've made a mistake and I'm going to have to cross this out. Let's zoom in on this. Master Gallerist, 35 money token total from your curator and art dealer cards, 35. Five reputation tiles, five reputation tiles. Three masterpieces, three masterpieces. Money don't mean a thing. So, it is with some pride, especially after the, the beatings I've taken in uh, like Kanban EV and uh, just missing out on the good score in Aura at Labora. Yeah, I don't tend to do well when it comes to the crunch and I'm on camera, but I think, barring any major uh, goose that happened, I think that's a, a legitimate Master Gallerus, which I'm really, really pleased about. Because, yeah, it's, as you've seen, if you've been here for the whole, like, three hours, it's coming up to three hours, isn't it? Again, I thought this was going to be, I thought last night, oh, it's taken me an hour and a half to play this game. This is going to be quite quick doing this stream. So, sorry again if you're watching back and you haven't got three hours. Watch it on two times speed. That's that's basically how I watch YouTube these days. Uh, but there we go. That is, yeah, it's just said, it's now time to open a real gallery. I Hypnotoad. Fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic game. Still, my favourite solo Vesel Lacerda game, and with good reason, I think. It's absolutely fantastic. And I don't think I'm going to play it again tonight now, but uh, definitely. I'm always keen to get the gallerist back out, which is why it ended up in this live stream. What should future live streams be? There will probably be, I don't know what days they're going to be, as work will probably be shifted around because there won't be uh, any on Bank Holiday Monday. But there will be streams next week. 
as I know quite what we're going to be playing, if there's only two, one of them's going to be Mage Knight, a proper game of Mage Knight. I dread to think how long that might take, but uh, yeah, it's going to, we'll, we'll see how we go. Hey, Pistachio Pony. Yes, this is my favorite Lacerda game. Uh, my favorite solo Lacerda game. I think multiplayer, it's still Kanban because I do love Sandra. I love uh, the car factory stuff and the flow of all of that. My uh, Kanban EV video that just went up for my um, big thoughts on Kanban EV. And I do think the solo is fantastic in all of these. I'm pretty sure like Vinos, it's more about where you're getting blocked off in that um, action grid. Uh, Liz Bower is a, another one where moving one space along, isn't he? Again, Liz Bower and Vinos, I think I need to refresh myself again. On Mars, fantastic solo, but as I said in my um, top 10 of 2019 that I did recently, I feel like I haven't, I still haven't clicked in my mind what I'm doing with On Mars, even when. I don't do that well in the gallerist, and I am sitting here kind of head in hand, when I'm not on camera, I'm kind of sitting here, just like, what am I going to do? How do I get around this? Which is what the kind of enjoyable uh, thought process is. But as stuck as I kind of feel, I know how all of it works and interconnects and can kind of get my head around what I'm doing. With On Mars, I don't feel like I had that click yet that I need to I need to go back and uh, play on Mars a lot more. But I, as I said in that top 10, I feel like on Mars has kind of reached my upper weight limit, you know, for, the, for how heavy games are, that it's like that's about as much as I can take. That's getting to the point where it's getting a bit beyond me. But with practice, I'm sure that uh, that wouldn't be the case. Lisboa, I think, again, like said earlier, Lisboa and um, Vinos now, if you look back on my channel when I made the videos for these games, which is like that up now because I was surprised at how I um, I did the gallerist pretty much, we are saying, if you weren't here earlier it's five years of the channel coming up this month by the way, so I had the gallerist around now, just before I started the channel in fact was when I did all of my crazy uh, playthrough two, three weeks of um, The Gallerist. So maybe it's all of this incessant playing of The Gallerist that led to the channel uh, existing in the first place. But yeah, about, about six months later, I went and did a playthrough for it. Oh, the camera weaves about so much in those <laughs> playthroughs. I tried to be better with that. I know some people uh, are affected by the uh, shaky cam stuff, but it was severe in some of those early videos. Uh, but let's see. Um, Vinos. I did that February 2017, so not too long after the Gallerist one. Lisboa, probably later that year. Felt it wrong. Lisboa? November 2017. So, it has been over four years since I've played Vinyos. The way things go. Gallerist has been more recent. And it has been... I think I played Lisboa after the playthrough, but may, it may be as long as like three and a half years for playing Lisboa as well. Yeah, these things need refreshing in me. I think I, I meant to do this in the live stream for Aurel Labora because, okay, let's not show you my, uh, <laughs> my notifications and stuff. I'm sure there's nothing uh, distressing on there. But if I go back to, I used to be a, uh, a committed VG, VG stater. And uh, I would like to be again, but I just can't seem to stick to it anymore. If I go back to my... Keep dropping off. And it's so useful as well, not just for your... Like... For knowing when you played things and how well you did and who you played with and all that. That's all great. But for me as well, it's great having a record at the end of the year. These are all the games that you played and this is how many times that you played them. Uh, I last played... Or at Labora before Wednesday when I did it live, I last played it 17th of April 2016 on my own. So that's the last time that I played it. And I played it with Rach then about a year and a half before that. So yeah, it's kind of a. Loads of times where like 
as much as I'm excited and driven and stuff to go back or to go forward and just keep trying all of these new games. And I've gotten rid of plenty of games that I think are fantastic just because of space. I've got a bit more space now that we have moved and there is this room that is more dedicated to them. But yeah, games are overwhelming this room still. So I've got these Kallaxes that are on, you see in the first impressions videos. I've got these shelves that are just behind me here. Try and limit the games to those, which they aren't at the moment, they're downstairs and stuff. But yeah, it means that I have to cut back on all of these games that I think. Fields of All I've got back again recently because uh, people were requesting a video for it and I found that, oh, I really, really like this. Why did I ever get rid of it? It's just that things don't get played for ages and I start to think, oh, I don't... If I don't remember it that well, how good it, could it have been? That's never happened with the Vista Lacerda games. I think I have thought before of Vinos. I like it so much as it's been a collection. Because I do really enjoy Vinos at uh, Solo. And I think Rachel enjoyed Vinos 2016 more than she, en she did not enjoy Vinos at all. I'll say that... Um, I was saying earlier about how there was something about Kanban that just clicked with Rach and she just understands that straight away and is her favourite Lacerda. I don't think she's really enjoyed one very much since then. Kanban was probably the first one that we played. I got that when it first uh, came out. That was around the time, I think, when we were kind of, well, when I was just buying up everything and just being excited about absolutely everything. We need to play all of the games. Escape Plan she quite enjoyed as well, I think. But that's another one. Escape Plan. I have only just got, I got that around the same time I got Kanban EV and I haven't played that solo yet. I have only played Escape Plan with its original prototype when I did my Kickstarter video for it and I've played it online as well with a, on their Tabletopia, I think. So I've never played the real final version of it, I don't think. And I've never played the solo version because it didn't have one. It wasn't ready when I had the prototype for it. So at some point, Escape Plan will be coming up. At some point, I'll get my hair cut so I don't have to keep having this uh, this side partying thing going on. See, my hair's kind of <laughs> between two worlds, isn't it? Hair haircuts are allowed in about two weeks, though. How's Marty doing? He swapped sides a little bit. Go back on the PG tip should limit the shaky cam, yeah. <laughs> it's all about that caffeine to get you through it, though. Keep you thinking. Yeah, I, I can't wait for a co-op on Mars. Any chance I'll play Gaia Project Solo? Gaia Project's probably one that I should um, get back. Gaia Project's another one that I, I liked Solo. I think it's um, one of Autumn Project's best Autumnus. You know, they usually do the Stone Mire things, but they did uh, Gaia Project. Uh, but it was one... On Mars is in this category as well. I don't want to just turn this into the moaning about rage stream, because you know, people just have their own uh, tastes of games. I've done it with games. But Gaia Project and On Mars were both ones that were just like... I don't get this, I'm not having fun, can we just stop? It's just fair enough. If someone isn't enjoying the game, then absolutely just stop it. So yeah, that's why I don't have Gaia Project anymore, but I would like to do another video for it. This is maybe a good one to like, with five years coming up now, we should go back through all of the things I was doing in 2016. Like the gallerist now has had like a five year anniversary playthrough. Go through uh, and do some more games. I often rate uh, games that I've played. I'm, I'm bad at ratings, I don't do that. But yeah, I, I used to put my collection on Board Game Geek as well, and I'm just, it's, it's too much upkeep, how much it changes. I'd love a video on how you strategize to learn a game. I, I would say, blind panic is the strategy that goes into things. There is, like, I am just more used to the galaxy. I think that that is part of it, that I, just from that sheet, of times that I've marked down playing the gallerist, I have played it. I've played it like ten times, which is over like five years. It's not that many when you divide it by all of that. But in terms of how often I play games again and again, not very often. You know, it's it's a handful of plays. However many I can squeeze in, video is filmed, game gets sent on or put onto a shelf, and then that is it. Because there's a million games every second coming out, so. Uh, yeah, I, I, with this game, I did think when I set it up last night, that one of the reasons that I didn't play it last night is that I thought there was kind of a nice little 
thing here that I could get started with that there was there were a couple of artists that had get people into your gallery bonuses, which the, the game I played the game I did play yesterday was quite harsh on the bonuses. It was a lot of like giving you influence before you even had people in your gallery. So I saw a couple of things there that like, okay, I want to get things back into my um gallery at once. And I'm I'm bad for like sticking with the same thing. So like I'm sure there's a load of ways around it, but I really just like it's it's not the only strategy by any means, but I love racing up this track and just being able to get massive discounts. I only managed to do it towards the very end here. But if you can do this earlier on and just be sitting at the top of this track all the time, getting massive discounts that it's easy to just get right above this fame level and anytime you need to boost the fame or get a free action it's just one for you and then you just every time you win influence you bounce back to the top it's uh, it's fantastic not the only way to do it of course you could just fill your gallery with uh, investors as well and be rich uh, with the same bonuses or a nice mix of the two but uh yeah there's um there's there's not not a great deal of planning and stuff goes into it i know I'm sure marty says hi in his own little way if he can do an annoyed little spin of him no, wrong way. Can you? Oh, sorry. Whacked into the desk. He popped up for a second. No, head buried in the chair. He's not. He's he's not gonna. He's not gonna pander to his audience. You've got to. You've got to earn those looks to the camera. Explorers of the North Sea. They've played every month since you stopped playing Solo. You've played it a hundred times. Wow. I don't think I've played Explorers of the North Sea. I think I've played Raiders of the North Sea is the only one I've played, I think. But that is impressive. That is, I think the only one I've came close to, again, when I used to track these things, which I haven't uh, for a long, long time now, can I put games back in uh, most plays? Closest I got to that is um, Fuse, the real-time dice game, which is easy because it's like ten sec. It's um, a five-minute game or a ten-minute game. It's a five-minute game, isn't it? Uh, I I played that incessantly solo, but actually most of my plays were two-player as well. Rach loved uh, Fuse. I say loved. We've still got it. The, the other things get replaced. We haven't played it, or well, probably since I stopped um, tracking games. I, I think we've played it since 2018. Things get left behind though, don't they? Uh, I feel like playing Isle of Cats. I need to get Isle of Cats. I did uh, the Kickstarter video for that as well. And uh, I haven't played it since then. Since that went on to whoever afterwards. I need to play that because it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's a great second. Whenever he decides to twitch that ear or look up to the camera, it's all been worth it, hasn't it? Yeah, he should get some treats. He's got a new scratching post coming. He'll enjoy that. He'll enjoy scratching one specific area of it until it's completely ruined and he has to get another one because he refuses to scratch any other area of it. But uh, yeah, a great big, great big fat scratching post. It's brilliant. He's just tip it over straight away. So I think we have been on here for a long time. I am going to do a proper, possibly with Rach, she's about, a proper Q&A Thing where we just have a chat soon there will be on monday again i'll put up a schedule on the social medias and stuff they'll be scheduled in the youtube thing so you'll get like notifications of when the live streams are going to be for next week there's going to be hopefully two games at least a game and maybe a q a next week or the week after if it is next week and yeah, there'll be Anno 1800 is filmed, Scrumpy is filmed, that'll be coming up. All good stuff, right? And coming up and recap video as soon as I can film it. Probably not today now, because we'll have to go and start making tea soon. I don't know if there'll be time to film a video. Thank you very much for watching, though. Oh yeah, the drawer in the back with the different colours. It's all... Um... It's all a big rainbow. Oh yeah, Disturbed Marty as well. So, thank you very much for watching. There's a little Marty yawn to end everything with. He will be... He knows he'll get his dinner in about an hour, so he will meow and run under our feet for about the next hour. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you whenever the next playthrough is, whenever the next live thing is. It will be soon. It will be next week at some point. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon. And I'll keep repeating myself until I've found...